Hello, hello. Hopefully everybody is doing well today. I think I'm about ready to get started. You know what, chat? I went to go look up my settings for the PSO menu. And uh, according to the... According to the settings, I have it collapse, but you clearly see it opening up every time. So if chat has any idea, if they've seen in any forums, what is specifically opening it up, if it's an issue with the uh, Lua script running something it shouldn't run, or if there's something I can add to the uh, INI file, please let me know. Since according to my thing, it is collapsed, but it is not collapsed. So, I tried chat. Because I do find it very annoying when I beat up, boot up PSO, especially for events, and I have to keep closing the main menu. One day, I will not have to do that. I'm assuming it's some bug in one of the updated versions of the code. Since I was just making sure it wasn't something like it just didn't accidentally save it. But no, it's marked as collapse, but it always starts open. But anyway, uh, from the standpoint of PSO, I guess depending on who's here will we'll really determine what we're going to do today. So we'll talk very briefly while people trickle in and let me know that they're here. Uh, that there have been some big nerfs to the Halloween event, and it has kind of thrown off my plans from earlier in the year. To the point where uh, the normal drop rate, to give an example, is 1 in 2,000. That's what it was prior to this year. Currently, it's 1 in 1,500 for Ultimate, so an improvement, I think it'll... You know, I think they'll A, be more common, but B, also get around the fact that they changed the order of event items to drop after rares. So I think some of that kind of compensates. Where I don't think it compensates, and I think they went really overboard, uh, 1 in 3,000 for very hard mode. Not great. I, I think that may is maybe slightly overtuned. 1 in 4,000 for hard mode. I think that is really overtuned. 1 in 5,000 in normal. Borderline impossible drops. Like, honestly, like, when when your rarity is harder to get than, uh, than, like, an Excalibur, I think something is wrong if it's supposed to be an event item. You have to keep in mind, too, with normal difficulty, that for those items, the things like Trimates and Star Atomizers and other drops that are listed as the rare drop on the drop tables for those enemies in normal difficulty remove the chance to even roll the 1 in 5,000. So a lot of enemies have a 33% chance or so of rolling the 1 in 5,000. Like, that is actually terrible. I don't think they really thought those numbers through very well, to be honest with you. I understand the intent is to discourage normal mode farming, since that, that's just how it appears on its face. But, like, I think the changes to the... Uh, overall rare drop system for event items already kind of does that for normal mode and to a lesser extent hard mode and probably doesn't impact very much on very hard mode which is why i think a ratio change makes more sense for very hard mode but honestly one in five thousand total overkill <laughs> like like you could legit unlock a weapon at this rate and i don't even know if you would get a cookie it's that bad chat like to me that's crazy Imagine doing 10k kills and getting a cookie singular. I don't know. That's just wild to me, chat. That's absolutely wild. But anyway, I think from that standpoint, we'll probably play a little bit of ultimate. So let me know who is here, chat. Otherwise, I'll do some solo journey stuff. So for now, let's boot up the game. Yeah, see, this is definitely the main menu. It says main at the top. I want to... Oh, you know what? I could try something since we're here. I have the INI open. I change this value. What does it do? Hold on. We're, we're going to test in real time. <laughs> I, I have the INI open. Nope, it's still opened up. Okay, so... It ignores that value. What if I do... This... How does it react? Interesting. 
I deleted the value altogether, and it's still loaded. Uh, I don't think it should do that. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. When, when you just delete a setting and it didn't even reapply it, that tells me something is very wrong with that code. Normally, at minimum, it'll repopulate with the default value. So, yeah, something is very wrong with their code internally. I mean, it's kind of like going into your game settings and deleting your resolution. You know, so, something should pop up in there by default, if nothing else. But that was not the case. Let's see, Chris is here. Chris, let's see. I think was leveling some other characters. I'm not sure if anybody else wants to hop in. look at the Halloween lobby while we go there. Yeah, something is very wrong with the code. So if chat knows any workarounds, please let me know. Since it is straight up just ignoring the INI &I file that has the dimensions slash position of the main menu. Uh, but it definitely ignored the collapse value. I literally deleted it. It's still loaded like that on a full reset. Madness chat. I think I need anything in particular here. Hmm. I'm assuming Chris would like to play. I could play Force into it. I'd really prefer if Red ID hosted. So either I can be the host if we have enough players, or we'll figure something out. I'd like to do some other events, but it's kind of hard to just do it with two people. Hopefully people will trickle in over time. I'm thinking, depending on the number of people that we have, we can end up doing um, basically like a full clear of like Terrell's ego. We can more or less full clear towards the future. Welcome in Parameter. Spin in circles. We will summon the PSO players. Oh no, Chris was on a stream delay. Sure thing. I mean, I saw yesterday playing with Chris off stream that, you know, Temple Red ID was okay. So we'll see. I'm not sure if anybody else is here. I'm kind of doubting it based off the quietness of the, the stream chat at the moment. I think if there's anything else worth farming. Oh, it is even B. Hmm. You know what I'm thinking then, since it's even beat and it's Halloween, why don't we, while we wait for more people to come in, play some Pew Pew Laser? So I think Chris, your Heaven Striker Ranger should be able to do it if you want to bring in Red ID. Otherwise, I'll bring in a Red ID. I need to level. Yeah, I figure Walt's up. I mean, the point of the Halloween event is to just kill a lot of enemies, and it's pretty easy to Pew Pew everything out of here. Ooh, do I want to play? I kind of want to level one of my other forces. Dumpling was good. I Sadly, I used her off stream a little bit, but I think I can do a little stronger. If I could get my red phone Newman a little stronger, that would help me for the future. Because that means I would be able to host my own uh, TTFs and do whatever I want in those scenarios. Since I was getting a lot of practice in as playing phone Newman into TTF. Just saw Lincoln Park. <laughs> my eyes went right towards it. It is funny that this character is only played for less than two hours. We're gonna add some play time to him. We finally have a means and opportunity to do so. I don't think he survives a normal boss rush without help. No, definitely not. Is he just using Valiant Frame? That's hilarious. Why does he have a Gafoe Emerge? I probably should not have left a Gafoe Emerge on him, but hey, that's fine. We get to laugh about it in hindsight. You level your foam moral, nice, nice. Oh, his uh, hands are not set up. I went to go do them and I was like, nothing's happening. I think this is, I'll do bank here so I can figure out if this is the right one. Oh, it is, oh, that's such a good guess. Yeah, 
Uh, sadly, I don't have any add-ups in here. I do have triple heavenlies. But I think should put me at a, the right level to survive. And then a spare V at a 1. About where I thought I would be. So I should be able to level a bit more, and then we can potentially uh, do a couple different boss runs. Oh, my menus are so weird. Uh, that's good enough. What is this song slash OST? This is uh, Beyond Oasis. We're still in the Yuzo Kozuhiro soundtrack. I take it Chris is interested in the music. Back on Sega Genesis, if you have one of the, we'll call it Sega collections that came out in later systems, it is in a lot of them. We'll give Imperimeter a little bit of time. It is very ominous. I've never actually completed the game before. I've played it before, but I think at some point I want to go back to it. I think... Think I have enough help to survive laser? Maybe. If not, it's not a big deal. Because that's what PP laser is for. Chris has enough health to survive. <laughs> if I'm not feeling sure, I don't go. Yeah, originally I was going to play it when we were doing Legend of Zelda. I think I mentioned last time we did PSO. But it, it just didn't line up with our schedule. Like, we ended up going into an event, if I recall correctly. I remember it having kind of like a combo system, and you could pick up weapons on the floor, and then you eventually get little summon spirits around you to do magic blasts. I think the fairy converted items to healing, I think. I know there was like a fire spirit. But I'm not sure what else was in the game. I don't think I got past the first couple summons. I remember there being like a slide attack, too. And you could like slide into like like, areas you can't normally walk into, so it had, like, some exploration aspects to it. I guess in that sense it almost reminded me of a very large-scale version of, like, Illusion of Gaia. Spin, spin. So yeah, I'll be able to keep our buffs up. Parameter will be able to just provide a little extra damage to fix my bad damage. And then Pew Pew Laser should cover everything in between. Spin, spin! Spin, spin, indeed. Yeah, I figure, you know, we could at least go for, like, Can of Rouge and or rare items, etc. Fall over. Maximum attack E, because that one's a classic. And then as needed, we can always switch over to TTF. Since a foam moral is good enough for buffs, and that would allow me to potentially uh, bring in a big damage dealer versus falls. So Chris will be able to host game as Ramar. We can level him a little bit for it. I tell myself, don't go foey. <laughs> go foey time. There we go. I remembered. And since they have Halloween cookies, I really don't want to spook them. I'm gonna let them get real close. Wow, that damage that dealt to me was insane. Ouch. Oh, that's after uh, their bonuses. I'm gonna slow them down with Gafoe. Let PP Laser do all the work. Nicely done. Nice little stacks there. Any cannon rouges here? Oh, 
Oh, this Dorphon is ultra dead. I'm gonna say let him charge. Oh, nice uh, little grants there. Nice PD. So now, now it's officially worth playing today. Ooh, every room is like a trifluid. That's gonna be brutal. This one. I'll take both anyway, though. Yeah, one thing we could also end up doing is using a cookie or two during the cookie event. If we happen to pick one up on my side, I'll probably just use it later. Maybe not literally immediately today, but probably tomorrow. Oh. I don't have Gazan set. I gotta go fix that. I think I was set up for just literally pure Gafoe. <laughs> Which makes sense. I went to go use that. I'm like, wait a minute. There's no Gazan. It's just missing. Yeah, I should level a little more to get me out of ambiguous range of survival. But I think 870 is what I need to survive the other one. So I might not be able to survive the boss, which is fine. It just means I don't go in the main room for now. It's easy enough to avoid the lasers in the middle of the room. I don't go to the side rooms. Thank you, Heavenly HP, for making me survive that. I don't want to use the Tri-Fluid here since I'm going to level soonish. But that is funny, this character has like basically the full setup. <laughs> Just his armor is trash. I'm not even using Ultimate Frame. Probably- oh god, I'm going to get bonked. But you know what? That went much better than expected. Thank you, Jelen. <laughs> it's like, I was not going to be able to move from there. I was in that animation for eons. Slightly out of range to the other one. There we go, nice clears. Oh, even Gafoe is the setup on that one. Okay. Wow, I really gotta fix my buttons later. Went to go to use the other shortcut. I'm like, wait, I have like literally no shortcuts in the other one. Whoops. I'm gonna be like just slightly shy. I really am. That sucks. There's the level I need. Seven 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 HP, nice. Uh, so I know that after this wave, I'm gonna be in danger of Dorthon. Ooh, that was a, that was a little last second on my my side. I went I pressed the wrong button again. I did stop him though. Unfortunately, I should not die. Downside, no invincibility mag. I was wondering if the game was going to be spiteful and give us Dorf on a clear after just not seeing it for an eternity. I 
dodge fluids back up. On a fluid. At least I should level again, which makes me a little better at surviving more than later. I'll take any defense I can get. damage for his uh, TTF carry later. Oh, don't you have a shortcut for crack fluids? That's brutal. <laughs> I guess it shows you when you speed level how little you need. Didn't even bother. Yeah, we're gonna fix that for sure. It's going to reach for that and then not having it is kind of painful. a single freeze chance worked on that SR. But it's actually painful. Is he gonna die before he gets frozen? That's actually insane. Rip buff freeze. Yeah, there we go. See, I got it in like two on the other one. The other one's got it for like 12 or partas. Just didn't die. Didn't freeze either. Ridiculous. Yeah, it's rare item up, so we might as well go for decent hunts. That's why I also think I like Red ID TTF. Just because it is really, really strong if you're going for kills. It's not, like, guaranteed. Like, obviously, if your only focus is Red Ring, then that's what you're going to do. But in an event where a lot of normal enemies suddenly become extra value, I think Red ID in particular scales better than almost every ID. Like, I think Viridian is probably better outside of events, but right now, Red ID, I'm like, okay, so if I spend more time in order to get, uh, just one set of- oh, oops, I forgot to wait a little longer. That's fine. None of us have stunned. Like, if I just spend a little more time and going through with these characters, it should be very interesting with Red ID. Since we'll be able to get things like the skill of Brave Man, more hard up items. I think there's just more value. Even like crappy enemies like Claw will end up being uh, value. So they're fairly easy for forces to kill. So we'll probably play with the force into those kinds of things. Like Arlen's will end up. We'll probably get like overall a little over 20 or 30. I, I think it was like. I think we talked last time. It was like 20 ish. Chances of Disco Brave Man. So we, we could spin the rule at it, wheel, as it were, for some of those items. I did get Mag Blast. Not that it matters at the moment. <laughs> None of us are you doing ATP. Ooh, look at that, super buffs. The only thing that might matter for me is the defense. So I was getting hard bullied. So we can wait for Chris. We could possibly just pop it here. I don't think it really matters. If I built meter that quickly, I'm probably gonna have it again by the end. To be real with you. Like I had it before the end of that final wave. Say using twins. There we go. So not relevant for our damage, but relevant for my defense, because I'm very likely to die to Goron Detonator crit without enhanced defense. I'll take this. Yeah, I'm only at 360 defense total. It is quite abysmal. So I'll see if this if I have any spare ultimate frames or something for him. I need to be, I think, 101 in order to wear the cloaks. Even if I had a cloak, it shouldn't matter. Yeah, 
will basically funnel XP to Chris's character. Parameter will get slightly stronger. Wow, that did half my health. That's, that's actually insane. Almost level. By the time the zoos die, I should get my TP back. Perfect. Little extra base defense, I'm not gonna say no to that. Joke's on you, Marissa's. I've been Gafoe stacking. Always Gafoe stacking. Oh, I didn't move forward for the Rappies, my bad. I'm stuck in the animation. I was gonna say, a 4-slot armor dropped on the floor, but sadly it's Divinity Armor versus, like, Ultimate Frame. If it was Ultimate Frame, I actually would've just wore it. <laughs> would've been like, hold on, chat, I'm getting an actual upgrade from common drops. Super important, trust me. Yeah, sadly, forces can't wear armor. Only frames. Uh, what I'm gonna do... Take a look at this. That's six, seven, eight, five. So it'd be six, seven, eight, and honestly, I could just leave this grants no matter what. And then on the other control list, I could do. I can't do map today. It'd be one, three, two, three, two, five. There we go. I think that's correct. I did think about it. Sorry about that. I need to make sure my uh, healing items are equipped there, or at least my fluids at minimum. That drives me wild. Uh, so I know that if we just walk forward a little bit more, we can walk forward and possibly debuff the room, which is important. There we go. See, I didn't die. I only took half my health on a gel and a score on detonator. Totally normal things. Look at that damage I'm taking. Holy. Yeah, this is why this is why it's important for me as a low-level player to memorize the Goron detonators are. Because if I get hit by that on debuff, I'm pretty sure I just die. Oh, he's stacking time. Leave it up to Chris. There we go. Now my menuing is much cleaner. I love how hilariously underleveled I am for this. I'll do at least two with this character. That way I could say I leveled up a Phonuman. Because him being able to do these hunts kind of the whole reason he was created. So actually getting to use him during an event is always nice. All oh, these Rappies are so toast. They actually just exploded. Get it there. A little target. This have an okay grants. Had a resound 29 casually dropping on the floor. Yes.
So I know that I should probably center more over here. Because I need to be able to hit the Goron Detonators or at the opposite wall. If we had traps, we could set up a freeze trap kind of scenario. But we can't always assume it. But what I can assume is that if I don't debuff them here, I'm going to die. There we go. <laughs> Just making sure I'm in range so I don't get teleport slap, because that is a very easy way to die. Dug 2000. I mean, that would have been like a amazing drop in like normal PSO, but like Cannon Rouge is just better in every foreseeable way in Blue Burst version. Imagine trying to get like high enemy percents on Nug as a bazooka and its drop rate is so abysmal. I got hit by the early slap, that's unfortunate. Nice and simple. Should keep my health up. Should level soon. I don't need. Oh, speaking of which, <laughs> disregard. I have already leveled. I saw 2,000 XP and I'm like, yeah, it's like five kills just instantly. So at least two forces here clean house real quick against Marissa because Chris does not really want to fight those. That's always a good feeling that I'm contributing. Definitely debuffing here. Every slap from them is 4% meter. That's actually insane. Holy. Well, I'm at 65 now. I'm at 68 now. I'm at 71 now. <laughs> when I start getting bullied, that meter builds so fast. <laughs> if I get it by Gurdabulu, which is very likely to happen, it should be interesting damage. Oh, debuff done. Yeah, we're chipping them out. Worst thing that happens is I contribute to a mag blast because I heard somebody get it. Goodbye, Gurdabulu. How's my fluid situation? Actually, not as dire as I thought it would be. I picked up one tri fluid, a couple monos. That has actually held me over due to just leveling. I did not mean to try fluid there. That was a mistake. That was player input versus controller issues. I'm back up to 87 meter. That didn't take very long. I said that before. It would not surprise me if I gained meter, because all I have to do is get hit by a spinner, I think, at the boss arena. I'll be at full. Almost demanded. There we go. Our attack power matters not at the moment. I'm at 99 meter. Come on. What a tease. What an absolute tease, chat. <laughs> well, I, inevitably I'll get hit by something, so I'm not going to go out of my way for it yet. I'm really surprised he didn't hit me there. He must not be targeting me. There we go. It was inevitable. We finally got a uh, interesting drop to happen. It's just heavenly mine. It was so sad. <laughs> I was like, oh, is it a Halloween cookie this early? I was like, no. Do so you have to think we're we're in ultimate? So with three people, if the quest has around 400 monsters, which I think is true, if we're playing with four people, on average, somebody should see it. Just one person should see it between all those odds, since we all roll odds separately. With three people, it's not as likely. It can still happen. Like, essentially having 1,200 chances for a 1 in 1,500 is still pretty good. I think Jat would agree. It's a little unfortunate that the rare drop of all things that happen was Heavenly Mind. Or 
regarded by Leo. probably support whoever dolphins, but I should not be the one that dolphins because my stats are terrible. For now, we'll go forward. Since it relies on evasion, and my evasion is booty. Oh, I got boss invincibility at least. Oh, was that the end of the soundtrack? Oh no, just paused. I say, I don't remember hearing the end credits. Well, I'm gonna take advantage of my invincibility and spam Gafoe to make it a bit more tolerable for people. That way they actually have a place to go. Uh-oh. There's the boss. That must be really far north, I don't even see him. Hear him. I'm gonna leave it to Imperimeter and Chris to damage. I'll remain in the middle chamber. Once I get over 800 something, it's one of those ones where, like, I'll just. I always forget if it's 780 or, like, 870. Because I think it does depend on what version of the boss it is. I'm like, no thanks. Oh, Chris is going downwards. Chris, Chris has to go. He's got Pew Pew Laser. You got boss duties. Yeah. And then it's weird because two of them do the same damage and then one of them doesn't, which makes it hard to figure out. Yeah, and Parameter will mostly rest to you. If he feels comfortable, you could reward him. But yeah. Yeah, like, the li <laughs> that damage is low. I'll just walk in circles for a little bit. I doubt I can kill the, the final phase quickly. Yeah, with Imperimeter resting, this should keep you alive. Welcome, Nate. Hope you're doing well. Ouch. I'd like to not die to Spinner. Oops, somebody just got mag blast. Oh, come on. They spawned in front of me. This is rude. Out of here. Get off of me. Oh, open parameter. I just gotta dodge laser, and then I think I'm good here. I'll just pop it. Whatever. I'm like, somebody's got a dolphin. Bonk. I probably won't kill it, though, sadly. I saw it take damage. Oh, somebody dolphin again. It's... Rip. <laughs> Chris too slow on that one. Wait, what? Oh, oh, maybe, maybe it didn't. I don't know. It, I guess, I guess I popped it. Maybe it had, I don't know. Why did it come in the room with the same amount of health? I'm a little confused. Maybe it's one of those things where Grants killed it on the way out or something. That was weird. Because it didn't come to me at like 100 health. That's why I say that. Maybe, maybe it got Grants on the way over. I just didn't notice. Because it looked like it was low, but then it came in with, like, 2552. But maybe the 2552 is from... Not from it coming with 2552, but the one that popped at 100 then went to 2552. Unfortunate. Let's level up, though. Ooh, double level up. Look at that chat. 10 MST. Ooh. Ooh. of interest here. Oh, 
Aw, oh, you hit it with Grants. That makes sense. Because I was like, that, that's the only thing that explains it. Because I was like, that should have just... I saw it do damage, but it did no damage. And I was like, wait a minute. Did something weird happen? I think I still have a good fully merged spare in here. My ultimate frames are on a different character. Otherwise, I would... Oh, it's actually only 99 for cloaks. My bad, not 101. 13 is 101. I was gonna say, I'm thinking of one armor. I was like, I didn't come up with that number out of nowhere. Sell this, restock. We'll do at least one more with Red Forest. I think I went money positive once I had in the quest. That's not too bad. With no add-ups, I'll, I'll take going money positive. Ooh, I made it 800 health now. Ooh. We'll host one more run of this. Should probably identify this in case something weird ha I I was using it unidentified and I was thinking about it and I'm like wait a minute it might not actually work as is I better make sure this is identified I know sometimes they don't behave as expected until you identify them sure we'll we'll high roll it let's go okay, there we go just in case Overall, MST is a little better. They did manage to hit me. They did well. Let them come a little closer. Oh, they got speed. Chris is happy for any ATP he can get at this point. Nicely done. Goodbye, Buddha.
You can almost hear like elements of Streets of Rage 3's instrumentation in this. Oh, there we go. There's the Halloween cookie. Now it's been worth it for Imperimeter. The event, the event item has dropped. Yeah, definitely think we should do, at least while episode 4 is up, we might as well do these. Then after that, we could always go to, like, Tyrell's or something afterwards, or, um, uh, towards the future, but with more clears. I think it would actually be worth doing, like, almost a full clear of TTF. At least from Red ID perspective, you'll clear more rooms by far compared to other rooms. Like, for example, killing all the low-level grunts in, uh, Forest. You'll kill the first ring wave for Bartle checks. And obviously, slime booping is always fun. Probably bring Hugh Casil in for damage if we go to do that. As long as we have a force, I think we're fine there. We're basically leveling up our characters for TTF. Well, this character in the long term. This this character will not be going to TTF as is. He will not be able to contribute anything meaningful. Yeah, I've been liking a lot of solo Hugh Casil stuff, so. Nice to be able to do. Slow me down a little. I believed in that Resta. Oh, wait, like, listen, I'm just gonna do damage. I either get healed or I, I die kapoing. That's how this force would want to go out, chat. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> like, yeah. And if I saw uh, Imperimeter use like a trimate instead, that would have been like, GG. <laughs> Just... <laughs> it's over. There we go. There's the freeze I'm looking for. Be like battle boss music. I don't recognize it. It's like kind of ominous feel to it. material behind. I looked at it and was like, oh, the material. I was like, wait, is it actually a good one? Might as well supply buffs since I'm probably gonna level here. Yeah, the monofluid wasn't 100% needed, but...
maybe it actually was. Let's level up. Every level I'm basically adding a damage to my spells, that's not bad. Eventually he'll be a big and strong Pokemon, <laughs> taking care of business in this crazy world. Out of here, Astar. that we can power level and also kill bunches of enemies. Hopefully we'll see Chris getting a few cookies. Or more, more importantly, a Kev uh, either a Cannon Rouge or a Heaven Striker. Almost called it a Kevin Striker. Ooh, I'm so close to that glass. Makufoe as early this time. My mistake last time. I've been striker field jump. Oh no. Maybe. Ooh, power material. Yeah, speaking of which, we gotta name some of those items. Officially. I'll put it a poll in the PSO one. Yeah, sadly the timing just... I, I feel like I was just getting burned out on PSO, so like the timing didn't really make sense to try to cram challenge mode between like anniversary and Halloween, and then we're gonna be doing December stuff like three weeks after that as well. I'm like, uh, I mean challenge mode is probably gonna take a little while. I don't mind doing it in January, after Christmas event. As long as I don't go too crazy during this event, it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. Like, I like PSL, but I don't really want to hard grind it. I think it's important to have some streams that are dedicated to the chat, but it's not something I want to do literally every stream. And it can kind of feel that way if I'm doing like a lot of bonus streams. That kind of feeds into itself, sadly. But as is, like two days a week. Not too bad. Without an event, one day a week is fine for me. Oh, there's our first Disco Brayman drop. Too bad it was terrible. Rip Disco Brayman chat. <laughs> Ron Detonator is like, you know what you want? 20 dark, 15 A beast total. Truly, it is the best. Disappointment of Brave Man is definitely true. People that are disgust of Brave Man. Another armor drop with four slots, but sadly, can't use armors. This time I walked towards the Rappi, so I should not spoof them. I, I almost remembered in time to move forward. At least I wasn't casting a spell there. No tech usage here.
Unfortunately, I have escape dolls, so chat should need to revive me. If I fail to dodge the spinners. So we probably could have mag blasted in the other room. I don't really think about that. Is it zip I we're we're inevitably gonna build up meter if we really need it in the boss chamber with only three players. Maybe after oh, he knocked me down while I was trying to get Boeing. That's so rude. like one kill from level one. So rude. Grabbed on hitting 130 crits. There's my level up. A little late, sadly. I had to use a dive blue. Yeah, at least my damage is decent now. On my screen, I'm only seeing single lasers. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if it's due to desync. I'm assuming Chris is not missing the triple combo. But on my screen, they're they're moving forward like a lot. It's kind of crazy. Another Nug 2000 bazooka. Wow. Okay. I mean, that's like what a one in twenty-two thousand item or something like that. They are hard grinding some mines. I'm assuming they're doing the uh, RBR, which I was not interested in, which was uh, mostly cannabins. Or not cannabins. Uh, is it? No, it is cannabins. I was like, cannabins is the, the flying enemies. I mean, the uh, the punchers. The rock'em sock'ems, as it were. Welcome, Peekawood. Hope you're doing well. I would hope they're not using mine cookies for that. Yeah, mine. I think we were talking about it last time. Mine cookies felt terrible. <laughs> it's like one of those ones. Like we did it, and it was like it. We just to show it. It was like, uh, no way am I doing that over like ruins for rare drops or uh, anything. Episode four. The day is treating you well, Pika Wood. For those watching, we do have a free slot. We don't really care what your level is, as long as it's above 80. Or equal to 80, more accurately. Better than sorting cakes over hours. Mm. I was just thinking, what happened? What would happen if you could have given your character like a PSO birthday? Like, hold on, guys, it's cake quest time. Although, hopefully, it's marginally better than the uh, the episode one cake quest stuff. That one was something else. I actually don't remember if I ever did that on stream. I feel like I haven't. I feel like I tried it once and I was like, oh my gosh, this quest never ends. Get out of here, birds. There we go. 
repair meter now 117. I believe it was 116 in the previous map. Could have been 115 earlier, I'm not sure. At least one level has been gained. Confirmed. The magic of boss experience. Seriously, what is this? I'm getting stun locked. Out of here. Not this again. A freeze into the slap. What a rude combo. Fortunately, at least D Band is keeping me alive. Yeah, I think at this point it's probably not worth using Night Blast. We're too far in. Sigh. I was like, I got hit by my slower cast animation from holding a weapon. Can you please just let me actually attack? Thank you. Rest in peace, that tri fluid I sacrificed to the gods. That gelin came in at the exact time I needed it. I should level up once before the boss fight, at least. It's nice being able to use characters that have not seen very much light of day, as it were. Getting Chris a little tankier be the big damage carry for uh, Titia. Here's my level up. That was a very timely Resta. I will take that. Should slow them down significantly. No, they can't kill me, so I was definitely not gonna rest to that. If it was Goron Detonator, I would have panic healed, but just those, I don't care. Do what we can here to chip out the Yowie. Not bad. Gurdabulu. I feel like he should have had like a, a Gurdabulu friend, like the other versions of this quest do. We're in the events. It just like it, it feels like you know there's this big build up and there's just one guy at the end. Reminds me of some of the other quests like Rescue from Regal. Like, there's like massive wave and then just like two load sentries get absolutely mauled by the group. What are my fluids doing? Not great, but more than enough to finish the quest. Let's see, will we find Conjuryu when not looking for Conjuryu? Survey says. Nope. Supersonica says, how long ago this event started? I'm brain dead. Uh, well they started it in the middle of the week, which is awkward. I don't really- I, I mean, chat, do you remember the last time they started an event midweek? I honestly don't, offhand. So it, it just started Wednesday. Which is a weird timing, so it's like... Like, I'm all- I was only gonna play it on the weekends. I was thinking they were gonna do it on a Sunday, since they like doing it, uh... Start the week. Yes. From this week. 
that's been up since the pack days. <laughs> I don't know, like three days? Zap zap time. Indeed. The event did just start this week. So I don't think we'll get a lot of streams of it in, just because again, it started on an awkward timer, so I think this is like one of four streams, as I mentioned before, that we'll probably play it. Since I'm very busy next week. I don't even know if we'll do we'll do a Halloween stream, honestly. Mondays are my off days. I never want to do PSO on my off days. Like that that's a hard rule for me. Never on a Monday. Most I think I would be able to do is a Wednesday, but I was probably just gonna finish up something for Disgaea there. I have to see how I feel about Fridays. But either way, it just the event is okay. I think the problem with this event is that it's I think it's actually kinda worse than the Valentine's event. I'm willing to call it. Like the event drop is good, but like the event itself otherwise is very lackluster. Like, at least when you have, like, the Valentine's event, there's, like, a huge rare bonus, so, like, every quest feels kind of good to play. This one, it's, like, I don't know, I could go, like, several hours and not see anything useful. I'm not doing any, like, unique quests, like, anniversary or Christmas. Do you know what I mean? So, for me, it's always kind of, like, a, a bottom tier. And I can do the Halloween quest, quote-unquote, outside of the Halloween event. So, it's, like... For me, this is just regular PSO with slightly better drop chance. There we go. Might kill? Is that? Oh no, evasion's too low. And just as I said before, originally I was going to stack up. I was just gonna stack up um, cookie drop chances by playing lower difficulty, since that was the intent of the event. But then they like hard nerfed low difficulties to the point I don't even think normal is playable at all for cookies. And even even hard mode, I honestly don't think it's worth it at all either. Unless I really want to do, like, very hard mode stuff. But whatever. So for me, it just feels like now a very bad event. I can be honest with you. Like, uh... I mean, so far, true statement, I have... St as, as of playing the event since, I want to say Wednesday, I still have officially gotten more Halloween cookies from uh, last year's Christmas. <laughs> or maybe it's two years ago. Two years ago Christmas that I've played the Halloween event so far. <laughs> I think they finally removed cookie drops from uh, Christmas, if I remember correctly. So far, just kind of like, eh, definitely not on the same tier of gifts as uh, Christmas gifts were. Gotta step away for two minutes, no worries. Think about what quests we should do next. It's still even beat, right? Yeah, I could do a couple more even beat stuff. But what would make sense to do? I found Rabar to level 30, nice. Just 
there's anything there that I want. Alright, so we did some Cannon Rouge Heaven Striker attempts. We could say that's there. I could switch into yellow for at least one run to see if I could get an, a better Galatine. We'll still do a couple more episode four while it's there. Yeah, like, I feel like the Halloween event was going to emphasize... Like, it, it, and to some extent it does, where it emphasizes episode two to, like, fight the Rappies. So inevitably that just turns into, like, a CCC quest. But, like, they hard nerf them. I'm like, do I really want to do, like, ultimate CCC? Not really. I could... Hard mode, like... I'm okay with normal potentially being removed, but like, I would have at least like blue ID hard mode to be more interesting so I could do like Jaya hunts. So I could genuinely say I'm going for an item while potentially also unsealing. It's a little unfortunate, it is just literally twice as worse, but actually even worse than that because of how the rare item changes have impacted it. So it's, a, it's a little disappointing in that sense. So I, I have not been excited to do those kinds of things. Actually, speaking of which, let me make sure these have these go back in the bank. Yeah, and then once you have cookies, and if you don't use them a lot, like... E even before I ended up with a lot of cookies, I didn't really, like, use all of them. Like, I still had, like, 12 or 15 on my own. I'm not really in, like, a rush to play those kinds of quests. They're fun, but... They are what they are. I think we'll do at least a couple yellows, and then maybe, just to say we did cookie quests, we could do a cookie quest. I'll probably do Pink ID Underground. Welcome, Promethean. So we'll do the same quest, but I'm just gonna use a different force. You stop being chocolate cookies and turn into raisins. It's an interesting statement. Let's go ahead and make it as a yellow ID. Oh, that's wrong with the out of this. Cookie is a cookie, I eat them all, says Promethean. Yeah, I'm just not... I'm just not thrilled. It's just kind of like whatever when I go through them. It's weird in the sense that they have their own quests, but, like, they're not associated with running the event itself. I guess is the best way to put it. To the point where... I mean, it took them many years to kind of fix it, but originally we just didn't even bother with Cookie Quest in Halloween, because there's no point, for the most part. Unless you just want to potentially get more of them to just chain them. Like, the payoff of doing a Halloween Cookie Quest in Christmas is so much better than Halloween, it's kind of funny. We're just calling them Christmas cookies for a while. Oh. Do I not have a Fire Scepter on this game? A spare one. Like a... <sighs> a bit disappointing. I can still try to do slicer stuff, I guess. And ask again what even is a Halloween cookie? Well, you see. I hope that explained everything. Oh, uh, ATP needed. Oh well. At least I identified this for later. So we'll do one yellow ID run, and then I guess while it's still pew pew o'clock, I can switch to pink ID force. <laughs> the character that only plays Cookie Quest. I would actually like a limiter. But I doubt I'll get one. I 
going to let them deal with the rap views as I fix the soundtrack. That was the end of Beyond Oasis. That is a game title. Miracle Casino Paradise. Just, I don't even know what to say. I've been bonked. Also, this character's still wearing basic frame, which to me is very funny. <laughs> My defense somehow got worse. Hopefully you're doing well, Promethean. On oh, Parameter Crash. Rip. We just restart, we're right at the beginning. We can finish out this room, though. Griffin Parameter. That is still unfortunate that you're still having those crash issues. I like his character's mid-cast, though. It looks like he's just asserting dominance. <laughs> just... <laughs> Ra raising his weapon up like- Oh, Dorf on a Claire, what? <laughs> Wait, seriously? Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Am I gonna get a Cannon Rouge? Is is it finally gonna happen? Am I finally gonna get a, a Cannon Rouge from Dorf on a Claire on this ID? We were talking about this last time. Holy- Oh, I'm so dead, by the way. Oh, where you can just go that way, that works. Oh, I didn't get it. Damn. You know, it's a 50-50. I'd just like to state that, by the way. A 50-50 with a rare chance up. Wow, that is so unfortunate. The one time chat that we could dwarf on a clear. Oh, Chris got it, though. Good. One of us got it, at least. So ridiculous. I know. Oh, well, let's slash lobby so we can reform our party. Oh, 20 dark? Yeah, that's kind of... kind of booty. Need that good old hit percentage and or A beast. A little restart, wait for a parameter. But if anybody wants to hop in, we're just doing some episode 4 while EPU o'clock is active. I think that's our first dwarf on a Claire in like 10 streams of episode 4. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest with you. Like, across 12 or 14 hours, I think that was our first one. I'll just fall over dead. One day, we will see Cannon Rouge from that. I mean, Chris got it, but I, I don't count it unless I pick it up. Oh, I should probably put these badges away, by the way. I got some time. So we'll do one more of these quests and then like one cookie run, I guess, just to say we did it. And I'll probably switch over to TTF. Play. Hey, this character's still using basic frame? Like, let's give him a... Just give him like a legit cloak. Better to do. Sure, why not? Better than nothing. It's not like I don't ice things here. Helps with boss damage if I want to speed up the boss kill. I guess since I have real health, I should probably... Does he have a real mag? He's got a real mag. I should probably, uh... Bring some ice stuff with me. I must have put all my scepters away on the other character. I know I have some. I don't know if I have fire scepters. That's the only one that's kind of rare for me, because I don't usually play lower difficulty. If I spend like an hour on very hard mode, I'd probably end up with like three or four. Oh, 
Well, at least I could say we finally saw Dwarf on player. So I feel like that character was uh, MIA from our ultimate runs for so long. There we go. I'm slightly better equipped than before, and that should also mean my defenses are a little better. I mean, it can't get worse than basic frame for defense. Where, unless dress plate is lower stats, I don't remember. Either way, my resistance uh, are now much better. My rapies. At least I have an add up to spam unarmed attack. Should feel a little better overall. Compared to the other character. Ideally, you know, if we happen to get Conjure you, it's whatever. I don't really need more Daylight Scars. But I feel like this is the perfect time for the game to troll me. <laughs> it's it's like I want the Galatine, but at least I'm not playing Green ID and just get absolutely nothing. <laughs> there we go. I don't remember if Chris has enough Cannon Rouges for his other characters, but at least he has one now for his upcoming Rock cast. And rock the seal. Welcome, RJ Chaos. Hope you're doing well. Sadly, not a back to back door fun to clear. Yeah, this yellow ID character was also meant to do this run, so I'm happy that this character is getting some use. You're, you're bobbing out to the casino music. Yeah, you probably need one more Cannon Rouge, because you have two upcoming Rangers, unless you have a spare. Mathematics check out. Imagine doing a quest for like an hour, finding three rare enemies and getting absolutely zero drops. That happened already. <laughs> it's like, I don't have to imagine that. That was a uh, 2021 anniversary quest. I think, uh, like, you could uh, go. Actually, no, no, it's even older than that. Oh, congratulations again on the Halloween cookie. No, I think it's older than that. Maybe it was 2019, now that I think about it. You can literally go look me, me up in the forum. I asked if drops were broken. <laughs> I had 21 Pazuzus in a row, no rares. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> and I'm the host, so it's not like a desync issue. I just, I failed that many one in threes. It was bad. It was on Viridian ID. Yeah, just Pazuzu things, exactly. I was like, why am I not getting any items from him? Like, rare items. He dropped me money, and I'm like, whatever. That feeling when you just want LNK combat and the game says no. Ooh, seven fours in a row. I, as I said before, I got, I got to at least 20. I lost count after that. It was like hilarious. The entire event, I think I got one one LNK despite playing for like 14 days from the Pazuzus. It was really bad. I think I at least got Limiter that year from Gertabulu to make up for it, but it was atrocious. Like, I, it, it was literally to the point where I was like, this is so statistically unlikely, I should ask if there's a bug. Pazuzu holding B101 and his beak and smiling at us. Oh, I just wanted L and K. He's like, that guy only got his mind. <laughs> Although I think a uh, regular zoo has B101, right? I don't think it's actually Pazuzu. I think one version of him has B801, though. I know, I think Pink and Purple get it, and then they flip who gets it. Nice level up. Music 
very happy and upbeat. <laughs> We're talking about salty things in PSO. It's like da 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 da. <laughs> Just. Get wrecked. And no worries, Pika. I know what you mean, though. Like, I remember wanting to get kunai for a long time and just not being able to receive it. And then I got it on, like, I think, like, regular zoo on a different ID at one point. Like, whatever, Pizzy Zoo. That's why I don't believe in rare drops from rare enemies, chat. <laughs> just... The, the closest I'll do it is uh, probably episode one, Hilda Tour. I don't even really do Kondryu runs anymore. You won't really see me play White ID Force into Kondryu unless I'm feeling just bored. Yeah, my, my days of Purple Heaven Striker runs are over. I have no interest in doing those. I think the problem is I just don't like Pod. It's just like one of those ones where it's fine to do solo, but I just feel like you know, in terms of XP or like raw item checks, I'd rather just do the boss run quest. I like that yellow ID, no matter what boss it gives me, it's still an item that's arguably worth value. I was gonna say, honestly, yellow ID is just so good. I almost want to play more yellow ID after this. I think it's, I think it's rapidly becoming my favorite by like far. Of just how I can play it anywhere and it gives me good items, and then it has like really good boss drops other than TTF. So I like it in Endless, for example, on Episode One and Episode Two. Multiple Galatine chances in Episode 2 is nice. Parasite to Gene Flow is nice. Episode 4, clear, nice. I know they won't do it, but I, I hope that if they ever add another quest to Episode 4, they make an endless Episode 4. It would be hard to make it not the best quest to do for bosses, though. Even if it just gave you Shamrod in over and over. Welcome, Hellcleave. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, like, the other one that's, like, also quote-unquote good on other IDs is White ID. White ID is pretty strong. Although, honestly, Episode 4 is probably its weakest. I think it gets more value out of the other hunts. As long as they're not literally doing, like, Respective Tomorrow, I think even their Episode 2 is fine in most areas. Just kind of like the, the same thing that happens with, uh... Yellow ID, just a different episode. Oh, no door found a Claire again. Am I gonna pick up the other DS Castlevanias? Eventually. Not this year, though. I think my goal is just one, e one a year. I'm not in a rush. We're playing a Castlevania S game though, later tonight. Where it's more, I would say like, classic mania style combat. Oh, this is a dive flute. There we go. We are gradually leveling chat up. We should have enough time for a pink ID cookie run. 
If anybody wants to hop in on one of those, and then we'll be doing probably TTF afterwards. We're gonna go as long as we can. I'd probably recommend to Chris to bring out a Slicer Fanatic if worse comes to worse. He runs out of Pew Pew Laser. And if he really needs one, I have like four in my bag. It's not a question of access to it at this point. I figure I'd just squeeze in more XP before we do TTF, where levels matter a little more. Yeah, I managed to pick up a, a decent number of them. Both from healthy, but also just generally playing. Hopefully you're doing well healthy. We'll be going for a while, so by the time it hits like closer to 12 o'clock, we'll switch over to probably pure TTFs. Yeah, sadly we didn't get a 4-man early, or else we probably would have done a full clear Tyrells. I don't really want to do full clear Tyrells with three people. This feels like an unnecessary challenge, I'm not looking for that. I just want a 4-man for that. There's a lot of enemies to kill. Get out of here, lizards. I really farm yet, I've mainly been mag beating. I was gonna say, you haven't missed much in terms of farm. The most exciting thing so far today, hopefully, was we finally saw Dwarf on Eclair while playing Yellow ID. And someone finally got the Cannon Rouge from it. You can check it off, a half check mark that it happened on stream. to start joining the runs after finish this this one. Nice, nice. Oops, I got Bowie there. That was a total mistake. Take that, though. Maybe. I think we're definitely doing a cookie run first, though. While it's still uh, even beat. I, I could play for a decent amount of time today. I don't have any obligations today that require me to leave the stream. I don't really want to go to like 2 o'clock or anything, I want to get food at a reasonable hour, but I know like 1.30 is not too bad. I'm trying to ignore the mag feeding, I need to do a new one for zero. Oh, uh, you're feeding in Fantasy Star Zero? I did vote if people were interested in it, but it didn't really win any votes, sadly. But no love for Fantasy Star Zero in the Discord. <laughs> Rip Fantasy Star Zero. At least the mag feeding is way easier in Zero, because it's like almost purely stat reliant versus like memorizing what ID you need to be and then doing other things. <laughs> it's like, it, it just ends up being like raw power for the most part, maybe a little accuracy if you're playing UCAS. I meant to ask Helpy, do you have a recommended mag for uh, unsealing items as a Phonuman? I'm just curious what your opinion is on that. I was doing that the other day and I was like, I'm a 180 Phonuman on my blue ID, and I just didn't have like enough ATP to hold Excal while also holding other items. I was curious if you had anything that you do specifically for that. Manji Sayuki. That is. I gotta listen to the soundtrack for it. No, 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 not a 31 extended video. No, no, no. Where's the full soundtrack? Oh, is that it? Is there just one song online? Oh, well. I guess we'll let the song play. 
sure, why not? We'll say we played it. <laughs> uh, let's read what Hellclick said. Min max one with the heavenly power. Yeah, I was kind of thinking the same. As I was saying to Chris, there's there's there allegedly a full soundtrack for this game, but it's not like immediately available on YouTube, sadly. Yeah, because I was saying to Chris, I needed like approximately like 50 power on the mag, so I was like, I was thinking it was probably just gonna be Bonum and Max Mag. But I was just curious. My first character, so I stopped caring about min max efficiency at some point, started focused on AT AT and AT. Uh for first character, I don't think it matters as much, depending on your character. Some people don't need, like, Milo Eula, but man oh man. Yeah. First character, it matters a little less if it's perfect. Although, funny enough, if you have the right materials going into it, it just makes sense to do the, the correct mag. Like, I think Rappy mags, for example, are really easy to do if you're playing Force for the first time. As long as you know to do Episode 4. I don't think it's that hard to do that mag correctly, for example, compared to some of the other ones. But for people trying to get, like, the Cat mag or Nidra, I can, I can understand if they don't do it right the first time. A lot of swapping that needs to happen. Yeah, like Pika was saying, like I'm focusing like ATA, and I'm like I don't focus. I, it it just depends on what your access is. Like if you're if you just trade like two PDs for like heavily arms, then there's no reason to hard focus like ATA on a mag ever. It just depends on like where you are, the playstyle. Rid of these. Goodbye, Greta Bulu. Yeah, it depends on how self-bound you end up playing for your first character. I'm gonna pause the song. I think there's one other song we listen to. What's up? <clears throat> Apply buffs. Ooh. Those chain hits did some serious damage. Push it up with the stun locks. Unarmed Razan for the win, that's nice level up. Hopefully he says, you want Mega's Awakening for some of his 1980 since the max stats one. If it is starting with Monomus, the sun, the Mega would over ATA or Duck was the tight window. Yeah. Very easy to just, like, mess it up by a stat. Oh yeah, Help Leave. I was saying, I feel like I messed something up, Help Leave. I was playing with, I presumably a max stat mag for my phone Newman, and I was off by one ATP <laughs> when I went to equip the mag. Like, I don't know what happened there. I ended at 804 ATA. Or ATP, I mean. Like, that doesn't seem right to me. But I, I can't say I super pay attention to their stats. Normally. And I had B101 equip. So I, I don't think it was that. I'm just kind of laughing about it. <laughs> it's like, hmm. I don't have a gold letter here. Interesting. Yeah, I was gonna say it was like, hmm, when I did that, I'm like, that's not, that's not right. I'm assuming I accidentally like overmined material by one or something. I don't feel like fixing it at the moment since it doesn't, I don't think it impacts my runs. But I was kind of laughing about it. I think it's on my like 200 Bonumen. I was like, hmm, doesn't look quite right. By Greta Bulu.
Yeah, I know at some point I have to fix my Hugh Seal's materials, but she just needs raw levels. We'll, we'll slowly get her some levels later today. We'll be doing Red ID TTF where we will clear more or less everything. And then depending on who's around, we might do Terrell's Ego. Terrell's Ego full clear. I'll think about it. That, that does take a while. That's like at least 50 minutes. That, that's a hard commitment for me. I feel like I sometimes feel trapped in quests if they go on too long. I'd rather just do two or three shorter quests. But if nothing else, we can murder everything in TTF. Okay, so here's my Galatine chance of the day. Come on, Galatine. Nicely done. Double teaming that poor red spinner. GG. speed up the first portion, and then if I want to, I can leave the room. I think that would be better. So I feel pretty confident in not messing up St. Million's health total. Of course, I'm, I'm used to doing it for other characters. Gotta walk right. Oh, thanks, Spinner. Wow. Wow, spawn really, literally about where I was about to walk. That is so rude. Yeah, I want to do it from here. Oh, look at that heal. Oh, look at that timely heal chat. Oh, you like that frame perfect heal? Damn, the spinner's almost got me. How annoying. The spinner's got me again. The spinners are the worst chat. Oh, come on. Another spinner? Go away. It's so rude. It's like, I was trying to leave early, so that way I would have been, like, here by the time the boss did that, and then we were gonna wait laser out anyway. It's so rude. Had enough of your tomfoolery. <laughs> I summoned the mighty dolphin. Keep it, boss. like the most rude spinners I've seen in a while. Get out of here, boss. GG. I'm pointing. I'm like, that's the jerk that hit me with like a billion spinners. Did you see me get reduced to 10 health, by the way? I had 978. I went to, I went to 10. Oh, 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 look. Oh, oh, look how broken it is. Oh, look how broken that was. Oh, oh. Oh, that's a different way to break that cutscene. Oh, so somebody mag blasts while you're in the result screen. That happens. That was something. Hope you, hope you witnessed that chat. That was special. Had like the names of the players that won. And then it went to like the normal view. Big oops. It is indeed special. I didn't equip my Rip Art Emerge. I kind of forgot I brought it with me. Oops. It's fine. I only put it on for the end anyway. Since I'll use Razan more than Rip Art above ground. I'd rather have three seals. Please away. Oh, I'm kept on HP material. Damn. One day, chat. So anyway. Let's go to another game soundtrack since this one will loop for another 25 minutes. So I tried to find it. I'm sorry, there's a game called Zork. What is this? Zork 1, the Great Underground Empire. Alright, so let's host some pink ID. While we're still in PP with Law. If chat wants to continue using their characters, it should be some big XP. 
Oops, already talked to you. One last episode for. Did I grow up with the Mega Drive? Um, I don't know what the Mega Drive is. I think it's a trend. I think it's more of a, it's called different things in different regions. I grew up with the Genesis. I didn't play with Sega Saturn. I have Sega CD. Yeah. Sort real quick. Yeah, I've played since, like, original Famicom slash NES. Let's grab a cookie real quick, and then we'll, uh, we'll move forward. So at least we could say we did a cookie quest. We did a lot of boss runs. Let's, uh, get some XP for the group. I did pick up one Halloween cookie off stream. So I guess I'm using the one that I picked up yesterday. <laughs> the one that after almost, like... I don't know, eight or nine hours of playing lower difficulty, single cookie drop. Drop rate was terrible. Given that it was on CCC that entire time. Pretty bad. Do desert. Aw, oh, sorry that you're feeling tired, Chris. for the enemy. It's pew pew o'clock. I love that this character has almost only explicitly done a Halloween cookie quest. From the standpoint of um, games, I'm, I'm not honestly a big fan of the NES despite growing up on it. I don't think I ever really had what people call like the nostalgia factor when I played games. Like I just played games and was like, I like it or I didn't like it. I don't think my opinion has honestly changed that much over time. The only thing I think has changed is I'm less tolerant of grind. I think that's the only thing that has changed. Or I just got tired of it. And that's from burnout of doing games that did not respect my time more than growing up. Like, I know a lot of people hold, like, 64 games very fondly. In particular. And I'm like... To be real with you, I don't think I had that nostalgia with them. Oh, the 64 controller was garbage. Listen, I hated I hated that controller since its inception. Always hated it, never liked it. It hurt my thumb. Never, never, never liked it. Going back to it now, it feels so much worse too. Because it was kind of one of those things where the moment I basically got a PS2, I stopped playing the 64 altogether. So I was like, oh, this is what a controller should feel like. You know what I mean? Like, it was just like, oh. And since then, they are all basically variations of that PS2 controller. Just slightly different triggers. That 64 was disgusting, though. Not a big fan of Collectathon. Yeah, I feel like, you know, we'll we'll play a different... Don't blame me the N64 for not being bored with three hands. Yeah, I don't... I really don't understand why they designed it like that at all. It always baffled me. Like, hey, there's all these buttons that you can't really use all at once. What a, what a design choice. 
Oh, 40 hit Vulcan, no special. The disappointment. Yeah, collectathons are just kind of okay. I mean, they should be there for people that want to, like, extend the value of the game, but when it feels like Force, or that is, like, the only thing the game is going for it, I just don't bother. Kind of like I'll play a game like Disgaea. I don't really grind in Disgaea. I feel like it just depends on skill level with certain games. Yeah, we just completed our Disgaea 1 challenge where... We basically beat the uber boss and completed all story mode in under 40 hours, so I feel like I was fairly respectful of the chat's time. But again, it just depends on how you like approach the game. Ooh, Slicer Fanatic, nice. Chris says he likes collectathons. I'm like, I, I just don't have that urge. I view it as, like, things to try. Isn't PSO a collect-a-thon? Kind of. But I view this more as a group activity. Like, if this wasn't multiplayer, I wouldn't play the game. It's that simple. I view this as more as a multiplayer draw than anything else. If this was single player, I probably wouldn't play ever. I would have no urge to do it. I think it's where you gotta draw that distinction. Like, if I couldn't then help other people do what they want in it, I'd be like, no. I saw everything I wanted to see probably last year, but finally. I finally did everything I wanted, other than maybe challenge mode. And after that, it's basically retirement for me. Because there's not really that much else I want to do. Like, what's the point? If I get the best possible item, then there's nothing more to do in the game. So it's like, I'll try to just get some basics. And see how I feel about different character classes, but not super crazy either way. Yeah. I feel like I have a lot. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, says, yeah, I have to have a lot of what to do. To do collection in a game. So if I don't like the game, I'm going to go for it. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, like, if the core game isn't fun, then there's no point to the collectathon. And if it basically only is a collectathon, I don't really play it. So, like, for example, I don't really enjoy games like Spyro because I don't like the base game because I don't enjoy platformers. Like, there's a lot of things to collect, but I don't care when I play those things. Or, like, I'll initially enjoy moments of Mario 64, and then I'm like, okay. I played for a few hours. I think I'm ready to just beat the game. <laughs> just like, honestly, it's just like, okay, it's over. I'll just I'll move on. I'm good. I had fun with the physics for a while, and then I'm just kind of like, yeah, I think I'm done. Seventy stars is good enough, more or less. I was like, oh, I'll just collect some easy stars. And I'm like, oh, now that I have them, I don't really feel like playing Rainbow Cruise over and over. Who would have thought? Any more in the fast reaction games, like Sonic or Mega Man. I'm not a fan of those either. The closest I come is I enjoy Mega Man X, but I don't enjoy the classic Mega Man. I'm just not good at them. If I'm not good at them, the enjoyment factor is, like, in the negatives. Like, no, thank you. <laughs> Just... Like, yeah. I'll leave that to people that are good at those games. That was a somewhat timely level up. Congratulations, Chris, on hitting 132. Man, that was so fast, we can actually just do another one. Oh, I got bodied. I got slapped from existence. Limiter? Nope, no limiter. One day, chat.
that's just kind of like one of those things. Like, I don't want action games to draw out for a long period of time unless they're like built for story. Like, I'll spend a lot of time in Onimusha because I like genuinely like the mechanics of the game start to finish. So I will go and complete the trials and stuff like that because there's it's just like more content to do versus just like repeatedly hitting an enemy over and over and hopefully I get the item that I want kind of deals. Yeah, one more cookie quest, because that took, like, no time. Her badges, okay. Oh, I ran out of... ran out of space on them, really. The last badge. That's lucky. Should have enough fluid that I don't need to shop, so I'll just walk there. Eight fluids, three tries. That should be good. And after this, we'll just switch over to TTF slash uh, Tyrells. We're just waiting for a fourth player. What kind of games the work is now? Let's let's read this while we wait for. And there we go. We'll read it in a second then. There we go. Ooh, Dan. This adventure game first released in 1977 by developers Tim Anderson, Mark Blanc, Luke Daniels, and Dave. I think for the PDP 10 mainframe computer. Okay, well, that's not the version we're looking at currently. Not the later releases. Just a text-based game on the Sega Saturn. That's what I'm just trying to figure out. I don't I don't care about the original release, so it's just curious. Oh well. Not exactly clear, just kind of scanning through. At least we tried. Historians have argued that Zork, along with Colossal Cave Adventure influenced the creation of Mud Games. I think Bowie's family go. Yeah, I didn't really grow up with a lot of PC games. I think the earliest I had computer access, like, the, technically I had a 3.1, but it wasn't mine. But I had access to it. So I played, like, some Windows 3.1 games. After that, I want to say Windows 95 was the next system that I interacted with. I remember playing like the original Baldur's Gate 1 on it, for example, and Sims 1. <laughs> also Simcopter, which was a train wreck of a game. Played like, what is it? A, is it Adele Down Under or Odell Down Under? Remember that on the 3.1? Yeah, that like, there's some games I kind of remember.
I'm sure I had like a bazillion educational games that I'm forgetting. I played most of the sim games across a few different computers. That's where I learned I was like, I was more interested in making something to destroy it than to make it for the sake of creativity or anything else. Like, listen, chat. Kid me wanted the world to burn. I would purposely, like, just make cities in SimCity 2000 to then destroy them in, like, SimCopter or, or straight up just oops all aliens and murder everything. Where Sims 1, I think when I was young, I would basically marry into, like, the more timers just to get their money and then kill them all. Like, that's all I did. I don't think I ever played it with, like, a genuine sense of wanting to do something in particular to make something nice. They all died, chat, when I played the games. Even then. No, no survivors. <laughs> that's why I feel like if I were to play something like Sims today, I'd probably still kill your Sims, chat. I'll be real with you. Just be a mass genocide of Sims at some point. Oh, nice. It's Slicer Fanatic draw. Did Mexican dramas? I'm not sure what that means. But I think from that standpoint, it's like, yeah. There, there was a great purge, even when I played back then. Like, the first thing I did when I got access to, like, the Sims 1 cheats was just see if I can put NPCs in, like, a completely walled-off room, and then I would just make them see if they died from starvation. <laughs> like, I don't even think I did it for, like, money or, like, anything else. Just, that's, that's all I wanted. And even back then, I don't think I played the games the way they were meant to be played. Like, I remember playing Sims 1 with the newbie family, and I would purposely not finish the tutorial, but have enough control over the character I could still do other things. So I j then just sat there for like a couple hours with his infinite energy and basically non-moving stats to max every one of his stats, just to see if I could do it. And then I made him get to the top of the career. And then I guess in my mind, I'd beaten Sims 1, and that was the last time I bothered <laughs> doing so. <laughs> that was the closest. They're like, look, he's got to get a good night's rest. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. I can infinitely bench press right now. Why would I do that? If it never drops below a certain value, he could bench press forever, chat. Yeah. <laughs> There's no right way, but man oh man. I was gonna say, Kid Me was all over removing that ladder from the swim pool. I did not need to look anything up at the time. It was like one of the first things I tried. I remember there was like a Sims 1 character creator thing, because I know I ended up with like weird characters I did not create, and I got it from somewhere. I think of, for example, it was, like, I had a house of, like, Hulk, Spider-Man, Wonder Woman, and then I think, like, Xena Warrior Princess, and I basically had them get really grumpy at each other and battle it to the death at some point. Loser gets picked up and then placed into some little cage thing. But I did not make- I remember not making those characters, so I got it from something. Or like downloadable paths or whatever. I'm trying to remember where I heard about the sad clown in Sims, because that was like, you know, the, the pre-Google era. I'm like, how did I learn about the sad clown? I don't remember anymore. It's, it's not like something I would have normally ever placed to find out that it if you make people really depressed, the sad clown comes out. So who knows? That here, go to Bulu's. Welcome, Piper. Hope you're doing well. Well, 
probably should pick up that shifter, but it could be like anywhere in this room. I mean, at least shift to 30 is like genuinely useful. But as I said before, it could be anywhere in here. Oh, actually, it's right there. This one. stuck my fluids and I guess we'll switch over to episode one. I think we did a good amount of episode four today. Almost sold my frame, that would have been bad. left. It doesn't make sense to uh, do another episode for. But hey, we help level bulls ults. So not bad. I'm sure Chris is happy getting four levels. A little extra damage for TTF later. I guess I'll switch into red ID for a little bit. Do some TTF. Yeah, some very fast levels indeed, for sure. No worries, Chris. We'll get you one TTF. As the horror music kicks in. I mean, that should play when I'm talking about the Sims. No survivors, Jan. Alright, so I'm going to be clearing a lot of rooms. I'm not going to say more or less all of them, but a lot of rooms. Oh, uh, you can bring in whoever you want, Chris. If you don't want to play Realmar, it's fine. If you do, also fine. I'm going to delete Worm Boss, so you don't have to worry about that at all. Yeah, it went full horror for some reason. So, episode one, we're going to briefly talk. The first area... I'm going to make sure all the uh, Bartles die, so the first wave of enemies. I could go all the way to the Talos for Red Saber chances, but mm, it, it depends on how many people assist on the first room. Caves, we're definitely duping slimes. I don't think we need to worry about pen arms, so caves will be mostly the same. We will be killing all the guild chicks in mines, I think, just for heart of chances, and... We'll go from there. Big cannon go, pretty much. We'll just wait for Chris to join in. And then uh, for ruins, I'll be clearing pretty much until Indie Belra's in the first room. Then I'm going to kill all of the Arlens. So including like the first four, then the two groups of four, and then also the Claws. If we have a force user killing those claws, that would be huge. Because that's just extra chances for cookies. And then, technically, we don't have to go up and deal with the source, Or, we don't have to go on the middle platform, technically. But it does spawn one extra Arlen in the next room. And then we're going to kill all of the final room. So I'll just mention as we go through there. But that's the intent. So I'll probably need some assist on first room. But otherwise, at least two people could go to the next room pretty safely. These Bartles need to go. What am I stuck on? That was weird. So they're dead. I guess nothing stops us from killing to the next wave, because it's just red saber chances. I wouldn't mind them, because my red sabers are not that great. At least I could kind of shoot them real quick. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Rewarded for the farm. Rewarded, Chad. Let's kill this Bartle, since this, this actually drops an interesting on him. Nothing of interest dropped from him, sadly. Where are my healing item flipping like? Pretty good. Oh, I should have taken the TP. My bad. I forgot. When we're multiplayer, yeah, I could just take the TP. My bad. So caves will be mostly the same. I'm just going to focus on slime duping. I would recommend that people try to kill the lilies for Halloween cookie chances instead of waiting around. Uh, but since I'm a cast, I am absolutely slime duping. Because that's Lavas Cannon and or more cookie chances. Just a lot of free XP. Like the, the, the 200 squad <laughs> assisting us. Yeah, I'll pop the early boxes, I guess. I'll check these boxes, since somebody else will be where they need to be. Nice kill. So I might as well check for materials here, and I'm waiting for slime anyway. So I don't need to be first in. I have nothing of interest there. I'm gonna wait for the slimes. One, two, three. They should be spawning soon. Oh, Chris went right down the middle. It'll work. Oop. I'll die. Perfect. So now we're gonna set up a freeze trap here and then kill the remainders. One, two, three, boom. No worries. So I'm going to ignore this room, because this room isn't super worth it. I can't pick up that Guilty Light, or else I would. Nice, they're already killing this room. Perfect. That means I gotta I gotta get Hustle in. What I could do to assist is Freeze Trap here. Fire trap button. Walk forward, so I'm in a better position. There I killed about as quickly as I could kill, to be honest. So even though I was like a little late into the other room, my timing was impeccable for this uh, boss setup. So to TP up. Oh, Chris ran here. No TPs apparently. Rip. Unless there's something good in the slime area, then I don't blame you. Okay, bit of a slow start into Worm. I have invincibility, so this boss should die extremely quickly. Between the debuffs and Jaya, it's over. Yeah, it's about the pace I thought it was. So I'm gonna stay behind and kill all the waves of enemies. I would probably prefer one person to stay with me and two advance the area. I don't super care who stays with me. I just need to make sure that we delete the gill chicks. So like this, I'll help clear to the red Sinnoh. I'm gonna put the confused trap as normal, but I'm gonna come back and kill all these gill chicks. <laughs> I'm gonna do this so if people want to advance it, they can. With this. So we got a big team assist here. We got one more to deal with. Perfect assistance. Did not ask for more there, honestly. Very fast clear. So those were heart of chances. Oh, I missed the power material earlier. Oh well. Not going back for it. 
I might take a couple kills here. I'm gonna make sure the Sinnohs die. If I get a couple pot shots here and there, it's fine. Yeah, it looks like... Well, unless the power material was here. Game, please. There it was, okay. That was worth just to grab that. Oh, I'm out of soul atomizers, really? Well, that sucks. Huh. So what am I going to do here? Chat could go to the next room. I'm just going to kill these. Don't worry about it. I, I'm very quick at killing them. All you have to do is just leave the room, and then we're good. I would not I would not recommend freezing. That messes them up a little. I'll deal with these as chat kills the other room. The reason being is that if I do something like this, all I have to do is make them walk towards me, and they all kill themselves. I don't have to do anything else. Like, it's just free kills. So I'm going to get three kills by walking away. We're not. Oh, there we go. There's the two kills. We'll take that. I'm gonna kill the guild chicks. Kill with these. Did you not die? Unfortunate. Okay. No heart of items dropped, sadly. Bit unfortunate. I'm gonna leave it to somebody other than me to stun lock because I can't with this character. Died between monitors. I can't drain my home. Unfortunate. Oh well. I was gonna dark blow if the monitor was up, but can't do that now. Rip. Desync is real. The boss died with nothing targetable for me. Fortunate. space. I guess I'll get rid of an evade material to pick that up. The cookie bountiful. Ask for remote battery. Uh, two. So we're gonna clear this whole room. So force can probably just resound. Honestly, all the calls. And then we'll kill the wave after this because it has bra disco brave man chances. Other people can move on. We don't need four people here. Somebody, sh somebody should always advance the... We'll call it advance the plot. <laughs> I'll deal with these. That way we're uh, clearing. But we're going to be basic. Yeah, we can ignore this room now. So I'm basically just going to kill every Arlen and then all the claws need to die since those are Halloween cookie chances. That's what the difference is here. Normally you just kill the Arlens with uh, red ID, but here we're going to also kill the uh, claws. I'm going to help deal with some of these. And we'll also kill the Darkbringers for Spread Needle. Disco Brave Man did drop, but it dropped poor stats, unfortunately. Yeah, so the Force will probably stay behind here. I'll clean it up a little. Somebody else can start the next room if they want. But we're basically full clearing. This is the ruins minus the first room. Actually, it looks like somebody full cleared the first room. That's also fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Just The claws are just pretty easy to kill. Like, I don't see it as, like, a big time loss. Especially with techs. And we'll still get some interesting uber chances here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a freeze trap down or two. So that they don't get to have any fun. So I'm gonna stand on the far right side of the room. And what I'll need to do is I'm gonna freeze trap near me. I need a gafoey roughly in the center of the room to stop the charges. So I'm gonna put the freeze trap down right now. 
a Ooh, somebody- Oh! Somebody shot my trap. That's so sad. It went off way too early. Rip. Oh, no spread needle. Oh well, we tried. Rip the spread needle chance. But yeah, that's what I'd recommend. So if you don't have like a force, like per se, even raw morals, fireball's good enough. Is that a monolith? Or even uh, wind blaze is not bad if you're playing literally no uh, no force stuff. Should probably drain my health. Definitely fire. Of course, what I'm looking at was not targetable. So sad. I'm gonna walk up Dark Flow. If I'm lucky, the boss is gonna come towards me. It's probably not. I could try to hover item select here. I'm in range. Try once. Yeah, I'm looking. Invincibility. I don't need to dodge. Like, never mind. Must have been when I hit PB 100. The hole forward and pew pew this boss down a little bit. Cycle. That's unfortunate. And you're targeting me? You jerk. I am so sad that hit me. Whatever. <laughs> right, chat? That was kind of a. Uh, okay. I still got double hit while moving. It's so sad. <laughs> Dead already? The variable damage is real, chat. I died at full health while moving. a couple of these. Yeah that, yeah, that boss mechanic definitely working as intended. 100%. I still like that Barans is like one of the most deadly enemies in the game. You have the stupid iframes in ultimate mode. Perish. Uh, let's see. What do I not need on this run? Okay, we're playing multiple players. I can at least put away S red. I'm gonna use everything else. I didn't get a good chance to use my vice though. There we go. We'll grind up our vice a little more. Oh, 
until you get some rest crits. Boy, chat, hold on. Gotta get, gotta get my escape though. Yeah, when you kill a lot of enemies, you get the S rank. There you go. If you need some escape dolls, kill more enemies in TTO. Welcome, Tiggy. Hope you're doing well. I think Chris might be. St yeah, I was gonna say Chris might be stepping out since it's getting late for him. If you'd like to join in in some shenanigans, Tiggy, more than welcome. We're at the we're farming TTF with extra kills category of the game. <laughs> Tiggy's. <laughs> there we go. Let me log in. Nice, nice. some rest, Chris. Hopefully you'll feel better. Get more runs with you tomorrow. This is still a little off-center, but that's fine. There we go. Ooh, all the show us's are being used. This is the Reaper's power. is going mad with this power. This is the Reaper's power. And yeah, Egbert is definitely a memorable character that faces something else. This is the Reaper's power. Oh. Nibelung Velesti. I later, hate Chris. it. I hate it. Oh no, not the I hate it. <laughs> Some, somebody slipped that in there. I didn't see that command in the chat. I'll clap for chat. Yeah, it'll be nice to finally not need Centurion ability. A few more levels. Their luck total is terrible. Chad has found the stream element store. Oh, Piggy's here. Piggy on the hunt for red rings. Yeah, we'll save Terrells, I think. If people are around early, we'll do a full clear Terrells. As I said before, I'm, I'm willing to go to at least like 115, 130 today. I am hungry though, but that's why I don't want to go to like two, ideally. So we're going to be clearing the first room in its entirety. Well, yeah, I guess. I just want to go for red sabers. So we'll have one person just go on ahead. Perfect, somebody is. Everybody else will just focus on murder. Yeah, the Tellos are red sabers, the Bartles are discas, I think. Up the boxes, because of the PD chances. If we want to, we could telepipe there. But I think at this point, since the clear is still happening, it just makes more sense to walk. It, it really just depends on how many people go to this room first. If there's two people, always take the telepipe. What? <laughs> Wait, did you see that? Did you see that glitch? I think he died on my screen. I don't think the game understood what Tiggy did. <laughs> like, his name went red, his health bar hit zero. His name also went red, but they went back up to 8 health. I don't think it mapped properly. Zombie Tiggy is here. The spookiest part of playing PSO are the bugs. <laughs> I might as well as open the boxes. But yeah, I'm gonna focus on slime dupes. Chat can just full clear the rooms as far as I'm concerned. We have enough time that we should be able to do it. As long as one person is seen going towards each new room, that should be good enough. I'm gonna pop the boxes here just to see if I can get a material. 
But we can have two people basically as the advance guard in the room. Be emoting all over the enemy. Of interest there. Yeah, as long as one as long as one player is being responsible, we don't really lose time in caves. Let's try to get some slime dupes here. On slime. Yeah, there we go. I should be able to clear the lilies here as well. Although I won't clear the rest of the room. If chat wants to kill the rest of the room, I will say you are more than welcome to. I'll at least do this to speed this up a little. The music literally just paused mid song. Okay. Awkward loops. I'll let them clear that. Now I think Tiggy died for real. Tiggy did die for real. No Tiggy. One, two, three. Spam fire traps, then start walking forward a little more. I'm a little behind, but I think I could kill most of them here. Put a tail pipe down here, save a little bit of time. Oh, chat's already walking. Disregard, I guess. Yeah, I've been learning to walk a little more when doing the slime dupes. I think I was just a little too far. Maybe I shouldn't do the box check on Dragon. I think that was probably my fault for not staying further back for it. Then this upcoming room, we're going to kill all the guild chicks. I can kill Sinnoh Blues, since I know how to do the Confused strat strategy, so nobody need Everybody can just leave Sinnoh Blue, and I'll kill, like, pretty much all of them with no effort. Uh, but I'll have at least one ranger probably assisting on the guild chicks. I'll try to freeze trap them, and then the other two can just go ahead and do normal clears. That just makes sense. Nice Photondra. I'm gonna do the classic Kinstra into killing Sinnoh Red. Make sure we don't lose a lot of time here, if any. And we're gonna turn around, finish anybody that's still alive. Put a freeze trap like here ish. Drop down. It just makes spread needling more consistent. Ah. Good clear, good clear. Team should be Sinnoh room. Then once they kill the Sinnoh red, I'll clean it up. I'm not gonna worry about the cannabins. Team's fighting Sinnoh Blue for some reason. You can move on, team. It's fine. I'll kill them real quick, I promise you. I'm gonna show them the joy of Confused Trap and walking in circles. One of my favorite exploits. hit, but they're confused. They're basically GG'd right now. Oh, they kind of died awkwardly. That's fine. Let's go clean up the remaining guild chicks, if there's any. Good enough. I, I got all but one Sinnoh Blue. <laughs> it was close. I 
And then in Ruins, we'll have at least the Force stay behind to kill the Claws. And then we could kill the Arlins. It's up to the team if they want to kill the other waves. I mostly view it as like the Arlins are like actual legit drops on Red ID, because it's just got a Brave Man. So at minimum, we should always just do that. Oh. I was not expecting to get killed that quick, huh? Almost swapped in time. It was close. I needed like one more hit to drain health. So sad. It's good time, I guess. Sunlock on Vault R. Oh, that's right, we don't have a force. That's fine. We'll do the the, the old classic kill. Freeze traps. Shoot the rest. I'm gonna put some freeze traps down to make the ranger life easier. leave this room, but if you want to clear, I'll leave it up to you. I'll at least put a couple freeze traps down. Alright, that time I think YouTube just cut the music off mid-playthrough. Ooh. Aw, oh, low hit on the Disco Bray, man. I got excited for a second. I was like, wait, a real draw? So close. Another Disco Bray, man draw, but not any good, sadly. We try to fix the music. You gotta be careful here, since this is kind of annoying to do. Rip Tiggy. Tiggy died for our sins. I'm just gonna abuse these things with last one. It does go slower, which is Hunters, but it's fine. We probably don't need to kill them then. But since they're in my way, I'll finish them. On Halloween cookie? Nope. They're two Disco Brave Mans, but none of them were any good. That's already at the Dark Ringer phase, apparently. Nice. I'll just a little bit here. No spread needle, sadly. The fact that we're getting there in under 10 minutes despite the like, full clears is kind of funny to me, I'm not gonna lie. Like, we're just, like, we're just steamrolling them so fast, we're like, listen, we could just make all these extra checks and be sub-10 minute into this room for no reason. Don't worry about it. At least we're trying to improve our odds of cookies. I know. Meanwhile, poor Tiggy's probably in those pub games. Lucky if he gets here in, like, 14 minutes. Poor Tiggy. Here we're just trolling. <laughs> like, if we did any of the clears we did in, like, a public game, we'd get reported for trolling. 100%. I feel like, what are you doing? Like, you don't understand cookies. So many extra kills. At least we should be getting, like, 120-ish kills in the quest. Which is pretty significant, I will say. Not bad cookie odds. Not gonna be as dense as, like, a Terrell's Ego, of course, but... far away, but I think I can make up for it. <laughs> I like the dual uh, dark flows happening on that boss. Poor boss. Oh, I didn't believe. So close. Might as well as heal since I'm here. 
I had Star Animizer assigned, I would have used it. Just full heal the group while I'm messing around. Oh, that's awkward, they see full screen. Nice. Ass kill. They're like, we. <laughs> Dead already? Pretty much. I almost got excited for a second. As I saw red at the top of the list. Sorry, is that a geist arms? Why? Where's the charge arm, right, chat? Where, where's the good stats? So sad. We do a few more of these. And I guess I'll leave it up to chat. If we do two more of these, I'd be willing to try a Terrell's Ego once for a full clear. Yeah, right, we got S rank. I think they said 162 kills. That's not bad. So we're, we're still kind of doing cookie things. I mean, allegedly in 10 TTFs, <laughs> a single player should see one with the rate that we're killing. Okay, so that game is over. Oh, there was another Oasis game? I didn't even know that. I think I talked about this with Try or something a time ago. I forgot about it. I like how I did the Legend of Oasis and it gave me the wrong game. Ah, <sighs> big sigh. YouTube, your recommendations are bad. So it also came... Oh no, this is Defenders of Oasis. That's a... So that's also the wrong game. Jeez. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give YouTube a 0 out of 10 on that one. It failed on every search. I've never seen YouTube miss so badly. What's going on with YouTube, chat? Are you get? Did you talk to the other person from Ethian? The answer is yes. I definitely have been. When you get the S rank, you have to talk to the uh, lady. She'll give them to you. Cause I just got one in the previous clear. I was gonna say, this is kind of reminding me of Razor 2. I'm curious where this falls in the timeline. No red sabers. Ooh. I think that mine material, though. came out on Sega Saturn. That would make sense, because I was like, I don't remember another sequel to Beyond Oasis on the Genesis. Let the other 
two basically clear. Me and Tiggy got this. I think I got it? I can't tell. It looked like Tiggy's shots went through without hitting. Mine definitely hit and then it delayed. I don't know. Unless Tiggy's initial hits hit. Because it's very rare for Tiggy to miss. Like, quote unquote. Like, if he hits it normally, it's instant. Could have high rolled the damage, I guess. Slime dupe. One, two, three. Your slime. Kill this. Enough. Switch it back to Disco Rayman. Welcome, Dusty. Hope you're doing well. I'm gonna leave this room. I'll let other people clear it. A happy little free strap down for people that want to clear there. Make their life easy. That also froze. That would have felt so good. One, two, three for the slime dude. Move forward ever so slightly, so we're duping slimes. We're making progress towards that door. Little baby steps. Nice. So, I mean, if it dies here, this is fine. Now I'm definitely on time for this room. Look at that. I, I cleared it with time to spare. Delapai. Parameters picking up items. Which is fine. It's the whole point of the run. If we if we have to take a slower route, it happens. If we get unlucky, we just speed it up. It's funny that being unlucky makes the run faster. Just like, oh no items worth picking up. Let's move on. Oh, the boss got an attack out. How unfortunate. Goodbye, one boss. We'll leave a happy little confused trap down for them. We'll go clean up the remaining ones afterwards. Help Tiggy chip them out. Just turn around. Kill the survivors. I keep being like a little too far towards the entrance. I need to correct my position for next time. It causes me to get stuck for a moment, which is awkward. Just clean up. Sadly, no heart of items seem to have dropped so far. That's six minutes, we're already in the cannabis room, despite basically full clearing. Love to see it. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about this room. It is an item check, but as a hunter, I don't really care. I'm not gonna go for it. Rangers can kill it though, that I don't care about. I'm gonna reset the room, team can spawn. I'm gonna do the little confused trap trick. I basically just bait them into each other and laugh as they all die. I just shoot the survivor. So we won't normally do this check anymore since most IDs don't give B101 here. That's just like an easy enough kill during Halloween event. I might as well as kill them. But that time I got the full clear. I'm gonna clean these up for hard ofs. I'm still assisting even in this room. Which is good. That means I'm not like really far behind. Hmm. 
Okay. A good pace. That was a that was a pretty smooth clear. This team was already way ahead and did the Barans. I just got the free. What was it? Basically eight Sinnoh blues. We're trying to imp that kill count due to the uh, event quest. Nice slash from Tiggy. I was almost in big trouble there. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I was like, hold on. <laughs> Might actually die. It's dark flow o'clock on this boss. Yeah, I did see he's... He, I saw on my screen he jumped at least two monitors. Shenanigans happen when he gets hit by Twin Blaze. I just learned to accept the game gets really confused where he should be at times. There we go. Nice kill. Nice Razan. Go ahead and pick up that HP material. I spell Dumb Draw. Uh, I really don't want to be the one that steps first in this room. I'll put that in the not worth the category for me. I froze most of the claws. He's trapped in the corner. Where? Freeze trap on my way out. This, this room kind of blows. These Arlens, though, give us something nice. Somebody leveled up. Parameter. Nice, easy clean up. Uh... Put a freeze trap down for the claws. Give Tiggy an escape route. Run, Tiggy, run. I'll clean up the claws for extra kills. Shouldn't be needed in the other room with the ATP. They're already at the Sorcerer Wave, so as long as I help with the Darkbringer, it should be good. Bonk. See any spread needle chances here? Nope. Nope. Yeah, it's pretty good cleanup from the team. Lost time on Vault Up, but I think everything else was actually much faster overall. Sadly, not seeing Halloween cookies yet, but maybe they'll pop up. We'll do one more after this with the red ID basically full clear. <laughs> Quote unquote full clear. We still skip a few rooms because they're just not worth our time. Uh, all one time. I was gonna say, when in doubt, somebody will hit the thing that I don't hit. So I just have to avoid dying, mostly. I can take some pot shots, it's great. It, it's kind of hard to outrange the Heaven Strikers. If it happens, it's like, it's cool. Oh, I'm dead. Ooh, last one saved me. Thank you, last one. I missed my shot. Should have died there for sure. Any other gun, I would have died. There we go. I'm like in a decent position for Dark Flow. 
Because by the time I menu, I should be in position. Twitch to last swan there rather than swing. Loses a little time there, but then I can make it up by damaging this phase. This phase is a big time waste. It's like almost a thousand damage I did for free. Wow, I got hit by somebody else's spinner. That's unlucky. I'm gonna I'm gonna prioritize revive over boss skill when I see that. We need all the damage we can get. Ooh, that's pretty good damage without a force. Still fast cycled the boss. Poor boss. I tried. Sadly, it does not seem like we got Red Rain. I'm just curious how many enemies we killed in this run. We did see some Disco Brave Man, so we saw some actual items that were related to the hunt. They just didn't roll well, sadly. We have to say, Terrell, how many was that? 174. Okay, I'll take that. We actually killed more than the previous time we got extra kills. Possibly in caves, I think. And one more TTF and then we'll try it to Rells just once. I'll probably bring Rawcast or something in for it. Over Hunter. As long as I bring Excal, it should be fast. I think I just want to be able to charge arm basically everything from existence versus uh, ATP with uh, Hunter. Absolutely annihilated again. Love him just basically spinning in circles. Amazing. Ooh, missed the kill by like one shot. Unfortunate. Yeah, I think overall it's going fine. We're gonna be roughly on time for Hill Bell. A little a couple seconds behind. Not too bad. Mow them down long distance with last swan. as well as drain my health for Dark Flow, I guess. Piggy's already on it, so I don't need to I don't need to worry too badly.
think I got it. Again, I can't tell if it's Tiggy or me that's hitting it. We're... I'm gonna say good enough. <laughs> Just... What we cover, I cover slightly earlier, T Tiggy covers slightly later. I think between those two overlaps, the boss will die every time. You did the boss, I guess. Because I try to wait for it to, like, nearly completely stiffen up. Yeah, because I don't want it to go, like, stationary, because I think that's, like, slightly too long. Uh, so we're going to put a happy little fire trap here, kill the room. One, two, three, freeze trap. That should time it out for the Disco Brave Man. Perfect. I'll perish. Uh, I'll put a freeze trap in here, but I'm leaving this room otherwise. We'll assist the people doing the lilies in this room with a quick freeze trap. Make their life just so much easier. Coordination. One, two, three. Spam your fire traps. Take little baby steps forward. I'm going to be ready to telepipe sooner. Start moving a little more aggressively here. They should just die at this point. Zombie song. That's, that's an appropriate title for what we're listening to. Telepipe up. Cancel my telepipe. But was that my last telepipe? Oh, really? Seriously? Wow, my bad. Oh no, it was just being weird. I guess I was still too close to the red thing. Unfortunate. Player error. <laughs> Player bad. <laughs> I need to take like one step back so that doesn't happen. It is sad that the, the boss warp can cancel that. Well, that was almost good. Alright, that time the boss didn't attack there, so that worm boss went about as fast as it could go, honestly, with the current team. If it never does the tentacle attack, it means we are on point with damage. I will go pick up that Meseta and lose some time. Worth it. out a little. At that time, I was where I wanted to stand. Perfect. Items looking kind of mediocre on my side, but I should still be able to do this. Even if I take Sinnoh damage here, it shouldn't matter. They they can kill potentially the first wave because I gotta get through. The that is. I'm gonna use some confused traps here. Screw this. Make a safety try made here. Two confused traps and then walk in the corner should be all I need to do here to kill basically all of them. Nicely done. One more set. That was a beautiful kill. Now they're at the guild chick part of the room, which I might be able to assist on. It's more important that I keep walking forward if I have to. Oh, the others were left behind. Uh, I should probably go this. Ah. Not too far behind. Sadly, we're still not seeing uh, Halloween cookies, but it is what it is.
unlock looks complete, so I'm just gonna drain my health. Could technically Disca, but I'll, I'll leave it up to Tiggy if Tiggy wants a Disca. I'll, I'll drain my own health. <laughs> We're walking around, so I don't regen too much HP. It'll like a little bit here, though. Maybe I'll survive a basic slice. Uh oh. Guess that works. <laughs> Ooh, not quite enough to one shot. Yeah, this is where like potentially having machine percentage would be huge on her. Cause I don't it's like forty percent. But if it was fifty percent, absolutely that would have killed. But oh well. Bonk. <laughs> Just normal slice worth the other animation. Okay. This boss is so whack. He is very glitchy. I think the only boss that's like more glitchy is Barbara Ray. I hope they patch Barbara Ray, by the way, chat. <laughs> Hashtag fix Barbara Ray. That boss is so jank like teleporting all over the place something else oh there's still a claw alive i was wondering what was happening my bad kind of a waste of a freeze trap then <laughs> it's really bad with you up for the team since last one's pretty good at killing these quickly in case it does something like dips under a Vulcan shot it doesn't really impact the run that much protect Tiggy all cleared we're gonna be in time for the Rose, the, uh, yeah, Springer. I'm gonna put one freeze trap here, one here. Let's deal with them. That was a fast kill. Sadly, it seems like nobody got a spread needle. Unfortunate. Like my health go down. See how it is. Yeah, player one will never be the closest to fall, so I don't see a reason to run. It's, e it's easier for me to be a hunter as player one, even though it makes it a bit inconvenient for some people, because I can't unlock the boss. Boy, oh boy, does it feel fine as a multiplayer character to not have to uh, be forced to run to falls. So we're living on the edge. Navigate through there. Get a couple plot shots here and there. Preemptively fire at some of them randomly. Maybe it'll turn as I go to do it. Like that. Well, that saved time. The, the pre-buffered shot. Saved like a fraction of a second. Where am I relative to this boss right now? Oh, kind of far. We're going to take some pot shots as the boss goes by, and this will be the last TTF. Okay. Just got another shot. Slightly angled poorly. I 
boss. That was fast. I'm just happy I got a lot more XP on Crimson. That way I justify the use of the Huka seal. I think she does fine. Like her accuracy for some of these attacks. I'm gonna have her advice in case we land it. Ooh, that was a good kill. Boss only moved twice, GG. A very good kill. I guess the question is, when we go to do Terrell's full clear, do we bring, I guess, maybe a white ID character in? If we still want to get red ring. Otherwise, yellow is definitely better. In terms of just overall drops. Sadly, no red ring. We got a 13 minute clear after doing all those extra waves. That's still funny to me every time that happens. Oh well, we tried to get some cookies. I'm gonna put away these materials. At least if I do make some hue casts later, I have a ton of PDs over them buy stuff in and the material. I just want to her 40 hit vice. It's solid, but not my best one. Anything fun in the shop? Oh, oh actually, there was a 50 hit. What was it? Oh, it was a no ability Vulcan. Disappointing. I was like, wait a minute, I think that was a Vulcan. Like, no. Terrible Vulcan. Poor DB Saber. Unloved. Forever. I go get my escape doll. Sometimes useful as Hunter. Fine. I don't think I'll play... Well, I mean, I guess I technically could still play Red ID into it. I guess it doesn't super matter. Let's see where the other two are. But I'm thinking we'll try one full clear at Terrell's. thinking what idea would make sense. Guess if I don't care about falls, because we're not really doing this for the falls clear. I think I'd rather go yellow. Yellow or white are fine, but I don't have like a white ID raw cast yet. There should just be basically pure value on almost everything we kill due to yellow ID being just really good. That means mines is also less of a waste of time. There we go, the robots are here. Oh, let me trade mags. Okay, I'll make a quick game for help for you. host the game. I'll call it Trade 2. Still badges on this character. Oh boy, chat. I need to figure out what to do with all these bronze badges. Sure thing in Parameter. Damn, this character is ready to stomp this difficulty. Although, I should bring more money if we're going to do a long quest. But I can't put any of my bronze badges away. Suck. I still have a 25 hit Heaven Striker. That should carry us pretty far. Twenty-five machine charge arm is nice for a oral bolt up. Yeah, I'm happy I got a heavenly HP at least in the run. Stupid bronze bat. 
So I went from 43 or 44 cookies back up to 43. It was at 42 at one point. So at least I can say a cookie increase. Times. Too many heavenly mines in here. I gotta move them out. But we'll give Hell Cleave a moment. I'm just in trade two. Name of the game. I could rename it, I guess, technically. I assume I owe Hell Cleave some payments. Let me get some PDs. Let me know how clear of how much I owe. Ten mags, but I'll say forty five instead of fifty. What? I'm confused. None of that was a PD total. Oh, five each. Oh, okay. I got confused. <laughs> she said, I was like, wait. Okay. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. uh. Start putting these away. Rest in peace, all the photon drops. You're going to a good place. Go get Hellcleave of a good item. Okay. Well, at least I should have better mags for uh, doing unlocks later. A lot of mags. Yeah, see, this, this 8846 I might end up using. Or honestly, even the 3697 is good. Yeah, I'll let you know, Hulk Leave. I, I think I got a list from Chris. So I'll, I'll pass it on. So he's looking to make four more characters, I think. Alright, so for now, I should be good. I'm using a Nidra instead of Talisia, so I don't think that matters. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Anyway, we're gonna just exit, I guess. So yeah, let's romp around in yellow ID briefly and see if we can get that full clear going. At least we should get some decent frozen shooter ch uh, chances and also be 101 in Excal. It's not a bad idea. I think that should cover all the future characters I'll make. At most, I might ask for like one or two mags for uh, different purposes, but one max stat's good enough. So I can paralyze if we need to. Hopefully I'll find a better cannon version than 15 dark. But we'll see. I would take you like my uh, PD count earlier. Nice. Yeah. I'll slowly recoup it over a couple of events. I think just saying that I'm done with future characters is a good feeling. I think what'll happen is that because we have an hour and a half, I think what I'll do. I'm gonna miss playing Force into Trails, but I don't really want to play Force into Ruins. I think I'll go to the next room. So, like, when this wave clears, I think I'll actually leave and let them clear this. As long as somebody stays behind, it should be good. Speedy. 
That way we're a bit more efficient, because we don't really need that many characters fighting it. At least I can spawn these guys early. Sadly, I can't do the trick to spawn the other hill delts sooner. I think this is good enough. Confused for a second, I was like, wait a minute. I'll kill those two. I'll spawn the next wave. Hopefully spooking the Rappies counts towards the kill total. I really hope so. That'd be a really dumb way to lose the Terrell's Ego, if you, like, spook them and it doesn't count. Hopefully that is not the case. But either way, we'll give it a shot. I didn't really think about that until just now. I don't think I spooked them, but I mean, it could happen. I'll put down a Telepipe here. Oh, never mind. Beaten to it. We'll take that Telepipe later. song is called Tower of Vegito. deal with the optional enemies in this room. Yeah, I figure I don't really know the strats on the later floor, so at least if I'm doing forest, if I do forest efficiently, maybe this is good enough. I got a PD back. But so far it was worth doing. <laughs> then I think what I can do is actually just telepipe out of here. Not needed. And I could take the other warp. But they should have hit the other switch. I should, yeah, now I'm able to go over here. So I could speed this process up. And then they could take their warp to go to the exit. That's always nice. Oh, but they don't need to even come over here if they don't want to. Nicely done. Up. Other people ran back. Go telepipe, rip. Spawning of the optional enemies. I surely, us basically full clearing Terrell should guarantee a cookie for somebody. Surely. Next area, let them deal with those. Yeah, I brought extra money because I had a feeling I'll probably burn most of it by the end if I'm using Charge Arm.
Kind of. Up a little more. I don't know music is apparently playing. There's another wave down there? Why didn't it why didn't it spawn earlier when I was in there? That's annoying. I have to go back for it. Uh let me do this, because this should be faster. Oh, boxes. Must have missed boxes or something back there. I'll deal with them. Blue pipe up for boss, nice. Oh nice, cookie. Yeah, I guess maybe I just pop one set of boxes. Whatever, it's fine. I did walk to the boxes though. I, I literally walked up and shot them. I guess I just didn't get close enough. That's why I got confused. Because those boxes were already gone. But I guess because I walked towards it again. Yeah, because those boxes are open for me already. Unfortunate. Okay, Hellcleave is at least offering Tiggy some kind of upgrade. And a Rouge time. The down Sil Dragon. I mean, I still think we're gonna beat the timer. I don't think there's any worry about that. I mean, if we're eight minutes into forest and we only have three areas left, we have uh, a lot of time. Caves is kind of annoying because it has teleports. I don't know if we'll split the party for those. It is what it is. Bazooka time. <laughs> Poor boss. Just four cannon rouges just hitting it in the face over and over. It's actually still good. I thought I'd be below 90,000 by now. Pretty good. to this room repeatedly. I think left is progress, so I need to go everywhere but progress. Might as well check the box distance in here. My apologies, chat. I appear to be getting a phone call. Give me one second. So we know left is progress, so what I could try to do is put a warp here for later. Let them kill the pan arms. I'm gonna go right. Chat can eventually do a warp if, if somebody goes left. I just know right is not progress, so I need to go this way. Yeah. But it's 
split, I think. Unless Heaven Striker crits do. Yeah, Heaven Striker crits do some damage. Fine. This will at least force it to split sooner. Do you know what I mean? Like, at it's better than just full waiting. pick up escape doll. Oops. Thought I had one in my inventory already. I'll go pick them up later. There's a couple on this floor. A lot of traps. leads me to another multiple choice area. What is over here? I don't think I've ever checked. Is this just a healing circle? Oh, there's more. Oh, there's just more. Oh. Yeah, this is the before. Caves is kind of weird. There's a lot of split paths, and none of them lead anywhere interesting other than left left. We'll just have a full clear gradually. Good luck if anybody drops any items of interest, because I don't think it's gonna be attainable for the most part. That just for a war, huh? I don't think I want to take that war. Yeah, I can I can leave a warp on my side in case you want to go back and check. If anybody wants to join in later, I still got a room to clear here. Why can I not target anything? Game, please. Goes back to beginning? Okay. He could warp to me. I'm, I put a warp in my room. Since I might have to multi twice from this room instead. That guy's dead. This guy's dead. So I was sticking around because I had a feeling there was more here. Fortunately, I'm doing soundtrack stuff. This. Alright, so no matter what path we take here, it's optional. Let's start on that first. <laughs> what caves, please? What is what is this? Okay. This just leads this way, which looks like Chad has already been here. In which case, I'll take the escape doll and turn around. This game is that that lava. I don't know how to say it. It's like that. I was gonna say that lava, but there's not enough letters. B A T L V A. Another escape doll, though. Can you just trap refill later? Okay. Well, somebody's in this room, so I might as well as assist. This is the final room. Okay. Does that mean everything else got cleared between here and the final area? I 
think only where... Okay. I was gonna say, if Promethean puts down a telepipe, I'll take it. A few seconds, because I know there's stream delay. Get rid of perfect frame. Over here. Let's take the telephone now. Slime real quick. I think everything is covered, hopefully. Right now I'm I'm with Promethean on the rightmost path, but we might have just cleared it. Yeah, it looks like we cleared it. And now there should be nothing left. Promethean went all the way to the right. I think it's just boss time now. I took the middle path. I probably should have had an enemy counter going. That probably would have made more sense. So if we, for whatever reason, fail the challenge, I'll just bring an enemy counter next time. So we could specifically see if we killed each one for four. I kind of forgot to set that up. I'm assuming I have one somewhere. It's like in the kill counters. Yeah. I'll set it up for next time. But either way, we're making some pretty fast progress. Honestly, I thought we would be more at the hour mark by now, so we're like way ahead of the schedule. Why is it warning me the video is gonna pause? Please don't. YouTube, please. Oops, all bazooka time. Poor boss. There we go. <laughs> Another four slot Valiant frame. Don't need that now though. Okay, so now we have some good opportunities at x -Cals and things like that. Also, I really hope there's no hidden walls. I can't really check for any. I'm assuming it's not as cruel as TTF, where you just arbitrarily go into a hidden room. Unlock more enemies. Sino Blues. Interesting soundtrack. I don't know if I would have thought Yuzo Kozukuro up to this. I'm curious what his credits are for it. If it's just composition or if he did actually do this game. 
Like, the Oasis games make sense to me, because, you know, it's involved with the original. <laughs> it really just teleported as I went to kill it. That was rude. Halloween cookie. Good job for me, Fiona. Oh, I leveled a little too early. Kind of hoping that wouldn't level me while I killed this. Oh well. So I'm going through the bottom path. There we go. See, I think the challenge is not as difficult as I thought, which is good. Downside, it seems like it's still kind of easy to potentially miss some enemies here. They're gonna go that way, I'm gonna go downwards first. Boxes. I don't get any PDs, but might as well check. That was vicious damage. Another Halloween cookie, nice. Dead enemies here. Die mates. Team has been clearing out pretty well. <laughs> ah yes, the I see you going for the switch, so I'm gonna ambush you room. Unfortunately for them, I remember this room, so I know where the brands is. <laughs> materials. Now I'm really curious what his music- oh, getting attacked again for throws more more wave. You got me on that one. Almost. Are his music credits for this game? Oh, music with Motohiro Kawashima. Split up a little, which is good. And at the other switch, so they could do something in that room. Should be just like escape dolls or whatever in there. 
match went for three different moves in a couple minutes. So I was like, right? Like, I was like, this doesn't sound like Yuzo Kozakuro. Like, he does some very experimental things, but it sounds like a different composer. I was like, that makes sense. I don't know what songs are his versus Moto Heroes. But it is interesting, if nothing else. So I think with that open... Oh, does this door not open in this quest? I thought it did. No, it has to open. Oh, nobody hit the switch here. Oh, that's scary. We almost missed a room. Yeah, I was gonna say, that, that room should definitely open up, because that's the escape door room. I'm gonna check to see if there's anything in here I want, and I'm gonna go back for it. I'll need a telepipe eventually from the team. Not right now, though. Yeah, it's like Lone Sinnoh Blue guards Room of Treasures. I should definitely kill him. Yeah, that was almost real bad, missing that enemy. out of here. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Tons of scape dolls if people want them. It is guaranteed to be scape dolls there. I guess I could start walking. The team has gotten too too far from me. I'll do some cleanup. wanted to confirm that laser switch. So there should be more than one path to take here, which is good. my buffs. So many Barans in this room, holy. Just another Baran. Still two paths to take. I unlocked one of the red switches. That's the boss door. Okay. What's this way? Hmm. I can see it, but I don't know how to get to it. There must be a switch not hit somewhere. Oh, there it is. Found it. So I need this open. Now I think we can access that other hallway. We have definitely not gone to this hallway. Oh, is it like, oh, it's a timing thing. Oh, multiplayer only. Okay, so I need team. I need people to go to the bottom left. Yeah, I'll, I'll hit the switch and then it'll undo itself. Yeah, so I could do this. So I could keep the gate open for people just to confirm that something is there. I'll be the one that stays behind. Yeah, so, th so this is literally multiplayer only. Alright, so I'll put a telepipe back where the boss is. And if somebody drops me a telepipe, I'll take it. Like an assist. And just let me know who drops it. Everybody already has piped up. Me. Oh. Even a red switch in here. Okay. A little more chances at rare items.
<laughs> I, don't, I got absolutely deleted. Holy. Game over. Full health doesn't matter. Die. Well, that's a lot of Sinnoh red attempts for rare items. Nice double freeze. All that was just to hit the switch to let us go from this way, huh? Where does this leave us? Oh, like way back here? Team can take my telepipe. I put a telepipe right near the boss door. Oh. Iggy died to nothing on my screen? What? What? Iggy's fighting ghost chat. Spooky. The desync is real. I'll take my own telepipe back. So I should probably I should buy more telepipes actually, because I'm like almost literally out. I'll give chat a moment if they want to use it. You got hit by Baran's missiles, but there's nobody in the there's nobody alive on my screen, Tiggy. <laughs> You're just in a room by yourself and you had blah! <laughs> it's like I'm like, but we already cleared it. Uh, so I'm gonna take my telepipe back. I should be right near the boss door. Yes, I can. I don't really care who sunlocks. I can at least slow it down if nothing else. I'll take you shoot it. There we go, we did the handoff. Good handoff. Although, ooh, there we go, last second buff. Nice. Corel saving the day. Get that buff range. Yeah, this is actually going pretty quick. Happy with the pace that we have. <laughs> Eat my machine percentage charge arm. Silly boss. I like how there's like optimization to open the boxes, but it just doesn't matter on non PTF quests. Mine material, huh? Drop escape doll. I don't need four. That's why I was surprised they didn't have them earlier. They were trying to like. Literally constantly. Ooh. What an awkward spawn. Sneak peek ahead, I think. Although, HP material. That was, that was certainly a wave. It was like, surprise! curious what this game is. I'm assuming with how weird the characters are, it could be a fighting game. I just don't know why there would be such a wide range of characters if not a fighting game. Like we have little little boy, then we have like super scientists, then like fat guy eating chips, then like sumo wrestler, then some guy with the beret that looks like he's in the military. I'm like there's only there's only so many reasons those characters would be together. And then some kind of mouse mascot thing. I don't really know. Certainly a trip to look at, I will say, the title. 
art for this. I know eventually we'll be teleporting back to some of these rooms. But some of the doors are kind of like... I'm like, we'll, we'll be seeing you again soon. Lots of boxes to check. Hopefully one of us gets like a super common drop from these. This is like the right area to get actually good weapon. ED chances, yellow, yellow box drops are good. For whatever reason we miss it, we'll just try again tomorrow with the kill counter up. Because it'll help to see if, like, oh, we killed blah blah blah, Hilda Bears, like, we make sure we get all of them. Teleported is my shotgun blast. What it deserves. That is a lot of Darkbringers. total. I'm assuming there's close to a thousand? I never actually checked the total count. Goodbye, random enemies. Oh, it snapped to the wrong thing. Shut a box or something. Oh, I'm out of freeze traps. That sucks. Um... Let's, let's figure it out. <laughs> One of these paths is real. Honestly, I so rarely go this far. I don't actually remember which one is the real path. I used to, like, sometimes do up to bolt up. Like, the, the machine place was like, oh, okay, remember there's stuff we're missing in it. But this area? I have no idea. Let them deal with that ambush. Now we're almost back at the other room. Oh, Dark Gunners. Ew. I don't have free straps. If they kill me, it's fine. I'll, I might as well just escape, though. There we go. That's what I wanted. Thank you for giving me free straps. My chat just like, hmm, much more tolerable. Let's see, so that let us all. So this goes literally back to the entrance. There's some chances that Psycho won here. We're at 813. Okay. All that just for a chest, huh? And that opened a warp. People could take the warp. I'm gonna walk back. I'm gonna make sure we didn't miss anything. They're all back in the other corner. So I had a feeling we were gonna backtrack. Because I remember there's like a lot of weird warps in this area. But if I need to, I'll take an actual teleport. I'm just curious what was in this room. Is this the mine material that I missed earlier? Ah, uh, it was the mine material I missed earlier. Okay. 
fair. So anyway, now we'll go back. Yeah, we still have like way over 30 minutes potentially to defeat balls. That's not bad. Here. We got one more thing to do. Oh, I thought it was a PD or Halloween cookie. Just DB Saber. Boo. Anyway. I'll do what I can. My enemy. Ooh, luck material drop. <laughs> I was gonna say, this is... It's interesting to listen to, but it's definitely very out there. Oh no, the pick a path. Is this the pick a path one? Oh, I think it is. I think this is the quest with pick a path, where you gotta choose your warp. I'm not gonna go in there. Oh, I just got my buffs, actually. Let me check to make sure these are items. Yeah, there we go. There's the healing circle. I had a feeling there was a, something in here. Oh, caliber drop, but no hit percentage. Ooh, bad caliber. I really want to open up what the premise of this game is. I'm just looking at the title art, I feel I feel like it answers less looking at it. Four questions have arisen. Yeah, I'm taking some big poison damage. That is a lot of claws. Make sure that they don't get out of float range. Boy oh boy is this way easier to do with a lot of rangers than if we try doing this with like all forests or all hunter. So this just goes back to the other room, but does this do anything if I come this way? Unless I got box. I just want to make sure there's no extra spawn. There is a switch here. Oh, oh, wow. That is so rude. <laughs> the double traps. Wow. All right, so that turned off the poison in that room. I don't know if that matters at all, though. Assuming up is just treasure. sake of completion, I will just see what it was. Oh, it's just literally a shortcut. Interesting. Heard the rare sound effect got baited. Uh, so hitting that other switch was pointless because it didn't do anything. It's turned off the poison in the poison room after we already completed it. A shame. What is this? Um... What? How, how do we know which one's the right switch? Is there a... Oh, somebody stood on it. <laughs> what is this? Oh my... This is horrible. What is this? Wait. We just die. I don't have a way out. Just so, oh, maybe, oh, maybe somebody needs to step on the different laser gates? Is that what the gimmick is? Somebody just steps on the switches? Oh, that's horrible. Oh, this is, oh, this is bad. Uh, okay, somebody needs to go back to where Prometheus is. I'll be the guinea pig. Alright, so we're making progress. So at least they can view my screen. So, we're just looking for what the switches are. Somebody will just keep me alive. So one of the... Okay. Oh, they were on it briefly. There we go. I don't know what our goal is. Maybe it's the switch of the, the warp in the corner. 
Yeah, this is like actual madness. All right, so we're not making any progress here. So I think if two people are on this... Oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah. I don't know if the direction corresponds. Yeah, like there's... I can't go anywhere. So if people are stepping on switches, I'm stuck. I can't do anything. Oh no, did everybody go back? Well, I need somebody to heal me. Oh, there we go. I made progress. I'm now in the corner. Okay, making progress. Oh, briefly somebody stood on this. Okay. Oh, oh, somebody was on it again. So close. Oh, there we go. I'm almost at the warp. Assuming I just need this thing to open. You just need to see which one opens the warp. anything moving the worm. I'm gonna move slightly in case it's the I have to go to the middle or something. I'm gonna come backwards slightly. Okay, so somebody stepped on this. I think this was the right way. I think if this gets open to my left, I'll just step through. How you would do this? Okay, there we go. I've made it through. All this just to do this. And what did this do? Oh, it just spawns enemies on me? Wow. Okay, well, I'll put a warp down. It's so rude. This is one of the rudest secrets we've seen in a while. What the heck is this? It's all poison too, which sucks. Holy, I'm getting bodied. Oh, please don't kill me due to poison damage. I'm gonna say, Dango, we're 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 missing the true madness. Holy, what is this room? Actual actual evil. <laughs> This might be one of the one of the most damaging gimmicks since that stupid Halloween quest. This is Terrell's ego. This is what happens when you go off the script. Holy. There's so many enemies! What the heck? I guess if you're able to do it, it might as well as reward you, right, chat? Holy. 923 kills. So we're getting up there. Come on, Psycho Wand. You owe a Cycle Wand game, by the way. <laughs> Just because, by the way. <laughs> After dealing with that. Holy. So we unlocked a door. Can we even reach it? As it? Oh, I guess because I opened the outer one, it should work. The box. The box is so rude. <laughs> that also is just ridiculous. Uh -huh. Now we're in this room. Like, this is not normally required to clear, clear the quest, so what room did we not go in? Yeah, I'm just gonna Frozen Shooter then. I'm assuming the goal is to be at 999, and then we just kill boss for 1,000. I'm assuming. Wow, this room kinda sucks too. Did all that to end up in this room. Okay, so we're at the bottom of the map still. As I said before, you don't need to do that to clear, because otherwise this quest would be like actually uncompletable. Interesting. More psycho one chances. Sadly, no Psycho Wand. I was gonna say, this quest got evil. <laughs> Holy. Get out of here, please. All that just to return here. Now this is the room we were supposed to walk to. Oh, okay, because I remember doing this quest a while ago and just needing to walk around to find this room. So the intended route was for you to do that nonsense, uh... People step on switches and just hope coordination works. I mean, fortunately, we were streaming, so chat can at least hear me go, like, make progress. 
They could see the absolute nonsense of uh, whatever you want to call that. <laughs> Not the right version of the game. Uh, hey, the Game Boy versions. I'm looking for PC. Whatever. We'll we'll let the soundtrack play. It's fun. I would never do that without some kind of voice chat. To be honest, it looks toxic. Oh no, it it's definitely something. Listen to the Nintendo version and say we listen to it. Right, so that's the long hallway towards the boss. I was gonna say, Dango, could you do me a favor and double check the total enemy count in Trails Ego? I'm assuming it's a thousand. We're well on our way after this room. Is it just items? Oh, it's a healing circle. Uh, I will take that. We're at 995 currently, so maybe it's more than a thousand? <laughs> that pipe is up. Nice. 1055. We're definitely above a thousand right now. Hopefully we'll make up the difference here. Will the indie bell rest so they don't have to worry about that. Yeah, wow, that's a lot of enemies. Let's freeze the claws, make it life easy. The downside is because you can dupe enemies, I wonder if that correctly counts. Because, like, we also killed bonus slimes, I think, at one point. And bonus mobs. I guess it'll be kind of hard to tell if we miss by, like, one or two. But I think I found all the hidden things in mines, at least. I'm gonna help with the death gunners. It's just nonsense. Out of range. Dark room dust. <laughs> Actually awful. So I'm gonna let the team continue to go here. I think it's just boxes, right? Yeah, that's just boxes. Alright, so presumably we're here. Plus spooky modifier, yeah. We're 1046, so we're very close. Promising. So one more wave, maybe? I think it would put us at our magic number. Otherwise, we forgot something somewhere in this hellscape. Three more? Okay. That should be 1055. I'm gonna pop the boxes here. That leaves us 30 minutes to kill falls. I can do that. So many random materials to pick up. I mean, on the plus side, I have super mag blast, so chat just wants to EV blast falls into oblivion. <laughs> just, just FYI, I think it can happen. <laughs> we'll just do it here. I'll say 100. Get a revenge on falls. So we should still get a super buff here. I'm gonna say using twin. There we go. We went through this whole thing with level 20 buffs. Now we're gonna play delete a boss. Goodbye, spinners. There we go. <laughs> Just casual 65 shift into the boss. We'll be cutting it close. Yeah, it'll be close. Of 
poor boss. We're gonna die to the Bomb Jack Arcade soundtrack. Oh, we're at 1054. That's very promising, chat. That is very promising for the full clear. This poor boss is about to get destroyed. I'm just gonna Heaven Striker it with my 25 hit Heaven Striker. It's over. Even Charge Vulcan might even be stronger at this point. Either way, it should be insano damage. We're sitting at 3400 attack in here. Casually better than Hugh Cast, don't worry about it. Is that Dark Bridge? What is that? I think it has to be. The ma max disrespect. Needless to say, I'm not shooting the spinners. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> we got better things to do. I might be close enough to get a couple shots. Oh, missed. So sad. I'm actually kind of low on healing. That's a little scary. Be a little careful how much damage I take here. spamming this ability. There we go. I'm gonna walk forward charge walk in this boss. This should be insane damage. Or falls. So we went almost all the way to do. I'm very, very hungry. I will stay. <laughs> that laser puzzle took a while. Pew pew pew, game over. There we go. I think that's a full clear. 1055. That that ruins room was something. I think that's the first time I've ever done that. Damn, no rare drop from falls after all that. Big F in the chat. <laughs> Where do you get club? Get out of here. Let's see, how do we get the super item? So we should get, I think, a dark ring, right? Or light ring? Oh no, Piggy got it. It's gotta be some mistake with the data. He managed to defeat 100% of the enemies. Managed to clear the simulator in record time. I don't believe it. Oh yeah, I think we do actually have to beat it in under an hour. I think for the other thing. Hey, acknowledge the defeat of my creation. We'll try harder next time. However, I think a true hunter such as yourself will always defeat any challenge they face. Please speak with Irene. She'll reward you for your excellent performance. Don't forget to collect your reward at the counter. I actually don't have room. Um. Get rid of. Hello, Tankus. I've just heard. You perform very well. Please take this ring as a symbol of your hard work. There we go, chat. The anti-dark ring is here. New equipment developed by the lab using harvested abnormal photons has tremendous darkness tolerance. There we go. Put that bad boy away. There we go. We officially unlocked it. I wasn't too bad on my cash, honestly. I think I was thinking Jaya totals. Used to playing Hunter. Honestly, I'll put most of my money away. I, it did drain health items, which I expected. And then my telepipe, so I had to restock. Because <laughs> I messed up a couple times. 
Yeah, surprisingly nothing super crazy dropped. Like, we had good potential in Forest and uh, Mines in particular. Anti Dark, the best item from T, I'm pretty sure. It is like the po it is like the reward for beating it. Oh, that was a really awkward end of the soundtrack. It just took like a short loop and just died. <laughs> Rip soundtrack. Like a 20 PD cell if you do. Nice. There we go. 30,000 Masetta. I don't think that paid for how much Masetta I used, but we'll take it. I mean, I spent like 100,000, yeah. So we're definitely going to take a break here, chat. I am starving. Let's chat briefly. We'll put on Bomb Jack one last time, I guess. Yeah, we managed to finally get that item. I'm just looking at Trail's ego before we officially say goodbye. How? What was the total? It was 674 leading up to mines. That's a lot of enemies and ruins. So yeah, that was kind of funny. We had a ton of bull claws. We had some soul demons. Not too bad. I'm kind of surprised none of us got anything like super crazy at any point. We had so many kills. Like, we had uh, over 48 spread needle chances, for example. That's not low by any stretch of the imagination. We had 25 V101 chances, or excuse me, Lambda Argin chances. And then I think as there were more Garands than other types of enemies, we had 29 V101 chances. So, a little unfortunate. There were a decent number of Bull Claws. Uh, Funny enough, there's as many sorcerers as there were bull claws, so going for ubers there didn't matter as much when it came to those. But yeah, we uh, full cleared. One thing that I did notice though, which is a little disappointing, is that there's no grass assassin, which is kind of like one of the better drops for yellow. But we just have like a, a kind of like an okay caves, like anything too crazy, sadly. So it's probably the weakest one with how the enemy spread was. But well, that's fine. Caves is so short. I don't think it really impacts the run. Also, sadly, we killed 52 Hilda Bears. None of them were rare. The hit percentage not dropping. Something like that. Yeah, we cleared a lot of boxes. Does it have any many boxes we're at the end? It. I'm, I don't understand how they labeled this. They labeled it Forest 2, Mine 2, Under the Dome, which I'm assuming is the boss arena, Underground Channel, which is the worm. Oh, there's Ruins. Okay, I see it now. It's just very awkwardly placed. There were 86 boxes in Ruins. So we did get, like, a decent number of weapons from them. They just weren't any good, sadly. And allegedly 12 weapon boxes from Ball's Room, it looks like. But, uh, sadly nothing with a percentage dropped of interest. Yeah, we did the challenge. So the requirement was... We managed to defeat every single enemy in under one hour. So we did have only like 10 minutes left. So that would actually be pretty difficult without a super party. It's not... It's not... We had an hour 20, I think, in the quest. So we did cut it a little closer than I think we thought for the total. There's a Chaos Spring in Ruins 3 that does not spawn in this quest. This enemy is not included in the requirement for the Anti-Dark Ring. Yeah, we managed to complete it there. There's apparently a whole guide on how to do it. So they get- they- there's a whole guide. You know what? I'll put it in. For people that are looking to do it, I'll put it in the chat right now. There's apparently a guide onto what buttons were needed to advance the player. <laughs> So if we do have to do it in the future, I will leave that there for people that are looking for it, because that that laser room was something. <laughs> so anyway, uh, GG, thank you for uh, the gameplay today. Sadly, no red rings. Uh, we did get a cannon rouge for a player, so wasn't like a total bust when it came to like the better rares. But uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get more cookies next time. That's quite a way to kill a thousand something enemies. So at least it seems like we didn't spook them and lose out, which is nice. But anyway, chat, I am going to get some food. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube at this point.
if you did watch the video to the end of the video or the vod i'd just like to say thank you again for watching and hopefully see you again next time